Did yeah. you get like an overwhelming amount of people in your Twitch chat asking if we were going to Gant's wedding or when Gant's wedding was yeah. as, as if they're like they were, also planning to go. They, they were like, they were like, you're gonna film it, right? I'm like, no, yeah. no. Sometimes people are like, so this is a, this is like a trash taste special, right? Like, <laughs> Joe the fucking day. rocks in one of like yeah. the fucking film cameras. He's like, yo, what's going on? GoPro on every corner of the room. <laughs> Connor's got like a GoPro on his like, fucking <laughs> forehead, like POV. Welcome to this episode of Trash Taste. Uh, I'm Connor, and I'm with the boys, Joey and Gon. Hey, guys. How many weeks has it been? Many. It has been many like weeks. Like a month, I you, think. You do it's not know this, month, but yeah. uh, I've flown back to England and flown back to Japan in the time yeah. uh, <laughs> since the last, not even the last recording. And then you got to go like a week later <laughs> again. So yeah. why'd you leave us, Gon? <laughs> what did I leave? <laughs> um, basically, I had to do a marriage interview. Now, normally Ooh. people do it like a year or something before their <laughs> wedding, but unfortunately Dude, due to, uh, yeah, due, due to like travel restrictions, I didn't have the opportunity to uh, go back to England mm. to basically do this marriage interview, which is like legally. Wait, so fill me in. What do you have to do at a marriage okay, interview? I'll, can, I'll, be like, can be like, yeah, you haven't got the job. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get So in. why do you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get into why like we, like I, I had to do it, but yeah, like, yeah legally like, if I wanted to be married in the UK, mm. you need to give something called a notice of marriage, which is basically you're telling the government that yeah, you're like problem, planning to get married. Um, and so it, it brings you to the legal proceedings to allow you to get married. Now, right. so normally you can do that like a year or months before. Mm. Unfortunately, due to travel restrictions and like us not being able to travel back to the UK or just it being incredibly difficult, mm. uh, we kind of like put that off. And we put that off and we put that off and we put that off. And then you, we, you have to legally give it at least 28 days before you get married. Wow. And by the time we gave it, it was like 35 days before we got married. So yeah, are you still, in, uh, still in the guidelines? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's still in the guidelines, but it was kind of awkward because I had to leave the boys for just like two weeks or something. It's like that just kid who finishes the assignment the day before his job. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like, I got plenty of time. I, just, I got a couple of hours left. Yeah, so I was like looking at the schedule and I'm just like, fuck, we got like trash taste and all this other work stuff that we need to be doing. And I got to give my notice of marriage. Otherwise I can't legally legally get married. And yeah. I've, put this off, I've put this off for as long as possible, but it's mm. just, it just makes it a bit awkward because otherwise I would have traveled back to the UK a little bit later. Yeah. Um, because now I'm back just for literally like about eight days just to do like my filming commitments and film all the trash chase episodes mm. we need to film. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to like tweet out that I'm back in Japan because like- It's honestly not worth it, right? <laughs> Because by the time I tweet it out, I'm going to be tweeting out, okay, I'm back in the UK now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so another thing is that this is probably like the most timely trash taste episode you'll ever be able to see uh, because we are filming this like what, like three days? Three days. <laughs> three days before uh, it actually airs or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so um, it's like the one time there where we can talk about current topics and it's the one time where it's just like, there isn't really any current topics yeah, to we're, talk before, about. Before we started, we were like, all right, Guys, it's finally time. We can talk about some timely things. And we mm -hmm. just sat here for five minutes trying to think of a timely subject. Yeah. And we couldn't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> we should just pick something like really irrelevant. Yeah. Oh, that Will yeah. Smith's from life. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Really. Oh my God. Yeah, but yeah, basically this notice of marriage, it's, it's, it was mostly just like, you know, about lawful procedures, right. um, just making sure that uh, we can we can be lawfully married. Uh, so like normally they just ask you like normal questions mm. like, oh, I was being asked, you know, what is spell spell your fiance's name? You know, what's, what is her name? Hopefully I know her name. Right. Her. Wait, really? That's like, that's a like, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's like spell, spell her name and then, uh, Ask, uh, you know, what is her birthday? You know, uh, I, I don't actually know what would have happened if I failed, by the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like what if I didn't know her birthday? You don't really birthday? love her, do you? <laughs> my, my, my last name is a pretty tricky one to spell. That's it true. makes no sense. So you know, if someone yeah. got it wrong, they wouldn't be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, because- like people who have like dyslexia and have, oh, like, yeah. a, oh and have like a Polish like fiance so like with a, like 17 Zs in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, uh. Because, because they, I think they want to check that it's 
it's not like a sham marriage. Right, of course. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, like, you know, like you're not just doing it for the visa. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. But uh, yeah, hopefully you can spell your partner's name, know their birthday. If you don't, now that you know what's going to be asked, you need to know where you're getting married. And <laughs> this will be on the test. And it, it, it is a test because like they separate you, right? They, they're like, okay, this is, we're just going to be asking some simple questions, whatever. Yeah. And like, even though I know like it was simple questions, just like being separated, it was kind of like, it, it kind of felt like being in like an interrogation. Like, <laughs> why are you here? Why are you getting married? <laughs> like, is, is she your real? Is she your real wife? Is she gonna be your real wife? No, but it, it was not. It was nothing bad like that. It was just like you know, just details about basic details. You hopefully should know about your future mm -hmm. wife and everything like that. Um, and then you, we get to the end of the interview, and then they fucking throw you a curveball, right? So uh, here's me asking, why are you, you gay? Know, <laughs> here's here's me. Here's me asking, uh, being asked to spell Sydney's name. What is Sydney's name? What yeah. is Sydney's birthday? Where are we getting married? When are we getting married? Yeah. What are my parents' names, et cetera, et cetera. And then out of nowhere, they are, they just ask you, are you in any way related to Sydney Ann Ponywas? And I'm just like, what do you mean related? As in like brother, sister, cousin, anything like that. And I, 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 I mean, hopefully I'm about to be. <laughs> and I, I, I just like fucking the fucking Oreo music starts playing in my mind. I'm like, yo, is this guy, is this person a Gigak fan? I'm like, it was like, it was, it was so out of left field that I literally just like, and then like, I, I, I like let out a laugh and like, and I looked them in the eye and they just let, like looked me like dead ass back just like, no, oh, this is, this is a serious a question. Man. This is a serious question. I'm like, no, I am not related. I'm not brother or sister. I'm not yeah. her cousin or anything like that. And uh, <laughs> what, if they were just like, what if they were just like, does this song ring any bells and just plays Clara? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, does this give you any weird <laughs> feelings? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, they, they actually said afterwards, like you'd be surprised how many people say yes. Really? I'm like, well, I didn't realize I was getting Yikes. married in the state of Alabama here. Like, yeah, apparently it's like, it's it's surprising how many like first cousins try to get married like, in the do, UK. Like, well, I guess there's a lot of groups that l have a tendency to marry within families. Yeah, mm -hmm. like do you fail the test if you say yes to that or do they just like, they're like, okay. I, I don't know, uh, it's, I, I, it's I, the incest test, okay? Yeah. Like, uh, what happens if you fail the incest test? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, 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 I got positive on the incest test. You, you can't legally marry if it's certain closeness, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can't. Can in you the, marry I, first cousins? I, I believe in the UK, you, can, you definitely can't marry if you're brother or sister. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure about first cousins. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't how, many, how many degrees of separation? I never need to worry yeah. about <laughs> Like how many degrees of separation does it have to be? Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> Not, I'm asking it's, for a friend. It's, it's like Google, when you Google this, <laughs> this, when you Google this too much, Google's like, for real? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you're nasty, man. <laughs> it's perfectly legal for first cousins to marry in the UK. Really. Is it? Is it actually? Okay, okay. Okay, so if you say yes to that question, then they'll be like, We'll allow it, but yeah, we're just gonna silently judge. because because they didn't they didn't just ask you know legally by blood they were like we include step siblings as well and we're just like God's it's like, domestic no, girlfriend no. all over again. God's it's like, true. Please don't get horny. Please don't get horny. <laughs> I'm like I've been training my entire life for this moment. How did they know what my favorite tags were? <laughs> he stands up, knocks the coffee over with his bone. <laughs> I'm just nervous. I swear, I'm just nervous. What do they? What do they want? Like, do you twenty three and me to like prove it? Like, yeah, what, like, what are they? What are they? If you, if you just say no, they're like, yeah. Right, then. <laughs> like, like, cool. like, like identical? Yeah. No. Yeah, no. yeah. Cause I, I was, I was wondering because we did, we were like legally, like we, we had to legally prepare like most of the documents that we, we were legally would... brothers. <laughs> yeah, no. like we're legally cousins. <laughs> no, so we had to prepare documents, which is all like the standard documents you would think you would need to prepare for oh. a, mm. like a marriage interview. Like, you oh. know, just, you know, um, your passports, yeah, your, right. uh, uh, your, since we're flying in, you know, your, 
tickets or flying in, your proof of address, all, all like the standard legal documents. So everything else could be easily proved via our documents. Mm. I don't know where, how you prove like, whether you're like incest or not. Like, what if you say yes? Like, well, what, what, what documents <laughs> would you need like, to provide? Those, those fucking high five. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Nice, dude. Me too, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking, I, I just wanted to- <laughs> That wasn't a legal Anyway, you failed the <laughs> test. <laughs> That's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, is there like a fucking incest Tinder or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I believe that's it's called like Facebook, the, isn't it? It's like it? the code, yeah. <laughs> it's just Facebook, right? <laughs> Gosh. Have you joined any of these Facebook groups? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God. Was it hard to get the marriage certificate? Like, nah, it's kind of just documents. I mean, I guess you've, you've lived in Japan, so maybe getting documents for stuff is like easy mode. Yeah, it's like, it's, mm. it's actually, uh, I mean, it's harder to get the documents uh, now that we live outside of Japan because originally right. we wanted a church wedding mm. and the more we looked into it, the fucking, the, the harder it was, mostly because uh, one, you know, I'm not Christian, it's, mm. it's only Sydney. Um, and also a lot of churches in the UK are very strict about who they allow to get married right. there or like mm. the priest. So mm. a lot of the times you need to be like a regular at the church. And if you're not already have attended, like when you're a kid or a regular or your family goes there, then you need to attend for like, you know, like a month or something just so, mm. just so the priest knows you. And that was, that was just wasn't an option for us because you know, it's, it's hard enough taking a two week holiday, but away from the boys, you know what I mean? Like I couldn't just go back to be like, guys, I gotta attend church for like a month. <laughs> All right. I, gotta church. I, gotta see, I gotta see the Lord. Okay. Yeah, I, gotta, I gotta see the Lord. So yeah, um, unfortunately we couldn't get a church wedding, but you know, that's all fine. We can mm. still, it's everything is already now legally. We are, you know, we've booked the place. Nice. We've booked the registrar. Nice. Excited to know. go. I am so excited to go. Yeah. I'm so excited for you boys to go as well. well. All you can eat, right? Huh? All you can eat, right? I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, boys. Let's go. I, I won't. I won't spoil everything that we have I, planned I I'll, I'll before be the sad. wedding. Uh, My we'll, only question is: there food? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need to know. There is. There is food. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So aside from like planning my own wedding. I actually also was able to attend a friend's wedding while I was oh, back I as well. It was, it was a very, very packed, <laughs> very, very packed trip for me. I literally uh, attended this wedding and then the day, the day after I flew back to Japan to uh, meet, uh, my, uh, meet uh, the other boys, I guess. And the uh, other boys. Uh, my, my other spouses, as yeah. it says. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> my boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, it was so surreal because it was the first mate's wedding I've been to. Mm. And it was so surreal because a lot of weddings now um, have been delayed to this year. Cause yeah. obviously with COVID and everything that's, that includes me. So this we this year is just fucking packed for weddings. Like I think you're- I'm you're, going to three. You're going to three weddings yeah. this year, aren't you? I'm going to yours, yeah. I'm going to my friends in Ireland and then I'm going to my cousins in Japan. Yeah, yeah. And all of them have, was supposed to happen like two years ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's all this year. Yeah, so a lot of weddings have been postponed to this year. So I basically just got like, like I, I basically got to see what a wedding is going to be like and like, you know, seeing my mate get married and everything and seeing everything from the audience perspective before uh, before I up there, standing up there myself. You did I, the beta test. I did the beta <laughs> test, right? <laughs> I, like, all right, this looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I think we can go full launch soon. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'll be honest, man. I was fucking nervous as fuck. Holy really? shit. Like it was- It was someone else's wedding? Yeah, someone oh, else's wow. wedding, right? Right, because yeah. cause it's like, uh, I've, I've known this guy for like almost as long as I've known Sydney, right? Yeah. So um, I remember just, being in the audience and seeing him stand up there and waiting for the bride to come out, um, just seeing him try to keep it together, just like oh. made me like think, fuck man, like I'm feeling your nerves right now. Cause yeah. I know everything he's like going through and I'm just like, this is gonna be me in a month. I, I, <laughs> I, I thought to myself, fuck, if I'm this nervous in the crowd, how am I going to be when I'm up there? Like when when, when I'm up there God standing like wings. There's gonna, yeah. gonna be an element of stage fright, right? Cause you just yeah. have to like do something in front of all your friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kiss, kiss. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was actually so funny though, because uh, it was like, we were, we were waiting in the venue where uh, where all the family was and the groom was up there on stage mm. with, um, 
uh, with the wedding party and everything. And, you know, we had like a, this beautiful harp playing and everyone was like silent. And then there was just like this this small pause, right? As the harp harpist was like changing to the next song. Uh, the bride was already like, was was already like, uh, I believe five to 10 minutes after it the ceremony had already been scheduled to mm -hmm. happen. So, you know, we, we weren't <laughs> nervous, but it was just like tense. You know, you you could like yeah. cut you could cut the tension with a knife. Mm. Everyone was everyone wasn't talking, and then there was this brief silence, um, and then out of nowhere, um, because Sydney was like one of the bridesmaids, right? Out of out, out of nowhere, we just hear in the corner like just someone going, "Yes, girl, <laughs> yes." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And and that just like and and that just everyone just like started laughing and like <laughs> the, the tension was gone for just like just, tension was just like instantly yeah. gone. Give whoever said that a medal. Like. <laughs> but no, it was uh, it was yeah, it was it was. It's it's weird attending a mate's wedding. I, I'm, 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 I'm curious I'll to see. You know. I'm, I'm, yeah, curious, yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm curious to see how you guys react as well. Because for me, like I was just after it was over. It's just such a nice feeling. It was like yeah. the most like like every cliche you could imagine, but it's like cliche in a nice way. Cause it's, it's, it's how everyone describes being at a wedding, but yeah. like you're just drunk on positive vibes. You know, yeah. you're just like, you was, you're just so happy for, uh, for the couple and the future and the bride and the groom and just seeing them tie the knot and just seeing them go through all that after you know both of them and after you've seen them like, you know, build yeah. up their relationship. It's just such a weird moment to see, just, just to see everything culminate into this one awesome moment. And it's just awesome it's to just be- It's so a, wholesome. It's so wholesome. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. I was just, I'm, I'm still like, I'm still like glowing from like the positive vibes from that mm. event. I'm just like, damn man. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. I'm hyped. I'm very I'm hyped for it. <laughs> be interesting. Cause it's like my friends in Japan and my friends in the UK are going to see each other. Yeah. So it's the same thing for you. It's gonna be strange. Yeah. 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 Cause we, I was talking to Connor earlier where, you know, mostly it's like for a lot of people, it's just going to be our Japan lots and mm. our UK friends meeting for the first time. And mm. Connor's the only one who is kind of like got, you know, got bridging, a hand bridging between, bridging, yeah. bridging between yeah. both, like everyone, you know, you know sure. he knows yeah. everyone basically. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Cause you, you know, normally you've, when your friends groups live in other countries, they yeah. don't normally interact with each other. Yeah. So it's gonna be really interesting. Yeah. Very Actually good. one one of the funnest parts of the wedding planning, because we've been doing like a lot of wedding planning, some of it, you know, some of it's stressful, some of it not, but mm. like by far the most funnest point uh, is I get to choose who sits next to each other in- Oh man, <coughs> puzzle level Just difficulty. Just segregating all the Japanese yeah. white people <laughs> to one 10 side. 10 out of 10 difficulty <laughs> level, level puzzle. Yeah, so we, so a lot of like so, some wedding, some wedding parties, you know, they, they, they do like a, like a soft segregation between, you know, their- Soft segregation? It, 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 it is what it feels like- A bit like. of discrimination is always <laughs> yeah. necessary, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, but, a bit of discrimination is soft segregation. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're calling it. That's what we're calling it, right? Because sometimes you go to a wedding, you like you can clearly see, you know, that's the family table, that's you know the one friend group table, that's the other friend group table. Yeah, because yeah, you always have people you have to invite, right? You're like, yeah. I have to invite them, but I know yeah. they're gonna they, they they're gonna cause problems. Yeah. If, I, if I put them near other people. <laughs> so we decided to do to do something a little different uh, without without spoiling who sits sits, 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 sits next to who. We had, we had a fun time being like who who would get along with who. Uh, while not knowing each other too well. So oh. we, we had to think about, you know, who, what kind of personalities would get on. So we didn't sit, we didn't sit people next to each other who they might might be so familiar with, you know, mm. not too far away from oh, just so being so. completely strangers. But uh, it was it was a fun time just, you know, just kind of like, kind of like pairing people up and yeah, pairing yeah, yeah. like friendship groups up and just seeing like the absolute state of some of the tables that we have planned <laughs> because we've basically just put all of like the fucking big characters on one table. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun just to see just to see if you guys get along well with each other, because it's wow. it's it's like as you yeah. said, it's like two friendship groups kind of merging. Because mm. I don't actually have so much family, like so much family coming to my wedding. It's actually like a small wedding in comparison to other weddings I've been to. Like mm. I don't know, what do you guys count as a small wedding? I don't uh, know. Most of the weddings I've been to have been very much dominated by family. Mm. Yeah, ours is like eighty percent mates. 
Oh, that's good though. Yeah, oh, that's, that's good. That's, that's good. good. Yeah. That's good. That's so like, uh, yeah, because like I, I know like every, small small weddings or medium sized wedding is like different depending on like whatever culture you're uh, from. Yeah. Like you know, a hundred hundred people is like I'd say like a medium sized wedding. You know, that's mm. that's medium. You know, a hundred people is like tiny compared to an Indian wedding. You know, yeah. Indian wedding. I was talking to like I was talking to a guy who like went to an Indian wedding and they had, they had like a thousand people going or something. <laughs> like, that's that's a concert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Indian weddings are. Uh, basically what happened if you actually go on your Facebook group and you invite everyone in your friend group. And, and everyone then, said yes. Yeah, and, and everyone and, said yes. And then right? they all get to bring a plus one. Yeah, 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 yeah right? <laughs> like I know like part of the reason, uh, so we're actually, you know, part of the reason because we do have a massive family, but we didn't want a massive, like a massive, massive yeah. wedding. Cause that's, mm. that's just like such a headache. So we we're just like, you know what? We're gonna have the main wedding in the UK. And then we'll be, we'll bring the wedding to the family. We'll, we'll, right, we'll, right, we'll, we'll right. go on tour. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go on tour. So. The wedding tour. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're having like, we're having like a different kind of reception kind of thing mm. for like our family in the US and Thailand, like, you know, Way after oh, that'd be nice though. Yeah, way gone after other the wedding. globe, dude. Sorry, yeah. gone hitting up all the spots. On the it's the worldwide. <laughs> That's the worldwide gone on tour. <laughs> wedding on tour has to oh, the world. Oh, you only had one wedding, cringe, yeah. dude. Cringe, yeah, because because yeah. like I don't know, like I I would I want to be able to talk to be able to talk to everyone at my wedding and you know share like the positive right, vibes. But when you get over to like a hundred or one hundred and fifty people, which yeah. it definitely would have been our wedding if we invited all of the family from like our both our sides from mm. abroad. Um, you just like you get to a point where it's our wedding. It's meant to be like our happiest moment, but you don't get time to share it with the people that you want to share it yeah. to. Right. With, right? You know, you see everyone talking, but you, you like most of your interactions, you're just like, oh, you're having a good time. You have like a five minute conversation and that's it. You know, mm -hmm. it's basically just like going to a convention, you know, and uh, going to like a panel or something. Cause that's, that's the amount of interaction I have with people who, you know, line up for a meetup or something. Yeah. But I, I want more of an interaction and more time to like get to, get to vibe with people at my own fucking wedding, I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how people handle like massive fucking weddings of like you know, three hundred, five hundred, whatever. You know. Yeah, because I've been to. I went to my like um, my friend's wedding, like Japanese guy who I went to yeah. university with, and like it's a tradition. I don't know if it's like a full on tradition, but like usually yeah. the tradition is like if you have like a full time job, like you already have you a job, you invite your colleagues, you invite yeah, your yeah. colleagues, and you invite your bosses. Oh yeah, the boss has to come as the well. The boss yeah, has to yeah, go yeah, as well. Yeah, so yeah. like I went to it and uh, you know, the there was soft segregation happening and like I was on the table of like mates who I went to school with, you know, mm -hmm. table. Yeah. But we realized that was one table out of like 40 tables that were there. <laughs> because there was like, there was probably like 400 people at this wedding, yeah. all work colleagues, like all bosses and like all family. And there was just like me and like, three schoolmates who are they just being like, yeah, so how you been? It's been a while. <laughs> I don't know any of these other people, but uh, good wedding, yeah. God. Did you have to like God. line up to give your blessing? Cause I've, I've, I've been to some weddings where we have to do that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you have line to- up to give your blessing, what's that? Yeah, because because there is so many people at the wedding, right? And the the bride and groom only have so much time at Everyone this wedding. Everyone takes turn lining up so yeah, yeah. yeah, like I went to a Thai wedding where I, we literally had to line up oh, to be like, yeah. congratulations guys. And yeah. there was, there, there was, they had like this stage where like they oh, sat wow. on like a fucking sofa or whatever. I've, I've only been to like white people weddings. <laughs> so I don't- I literally <laughs> had to line up to like shake my mate's hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, yeah, That's because so it was like, cause like, you know, after the reception and everything and, you know, during like, you know, food and stuff like that. And they're kind of like walking around mm. and stuff, you know, yeah. saying hello That's to cool. everyone. Yeah. Like, uh, it's yeah. A good system though. Yeah, I mean, it's a good system, but it was also weird just like lining up next to like a bunch of salary men to be like, oh yeah, I'm just here to shake my man's <laughs> hand. You know? Efficient, I like it. I like yeah. the efficiency of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you didn't see me at the wedding? Shut up, we got five minutes in a handshake. Fuck off. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like an idol, like handshake. Yeah, yeah it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, like, how many of my albums did you buy? <laughs> yeah, I bought 10 of your CDs, you know? <laughs> You're just in the, in the like wedding, like. <laughs> <laughs> Asian weddings as well, when you're lining up, sometimes you haven't even slipped some money to like pass it. Wow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> A Asian, well, Asian? like a back alley deal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this feel, it feels correct in saying, but it just feels like the supreme store of weddings, like Asian, <laughs> Asian weddings are. It's like, how much can you flex? And it's just, everyone brings it like supreme out. Everyone's like, oh, dude, yeah, it's yeah, like, of course. I right, look yeah. at this spread, dude, way more food than you'd ever need. Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. Bring everyone you know. Why? Just so I can have the capacity bigger on Facebook. That's yeah. pretty yeah, yeah. much. Cause, yeah. Cause it's like a lot of Asian weddings I've been to, it's, it's 
it's like a statement. You know mm. what I mean? It's 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 like a. It's flag. about sending a message. It, 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 it is, is literally is about it, sending a message. Is it trying to tell people like how successful you are, or is like what's the? Uh, the I think it's more so about like look at how like happy we are, and look at and like this is like the physical representation of how like yeah you know happy and like yeah. all, well off we are for being happy. And, yeah, because you know. like the amount of wedding politics that go into an Asian, it, it is a thing, it oh, is a yeah, thing, right? Because it's, it's not even uh, it's not even about inviting your immediate friends and family. You got like your parents, immediate like friends and family yeah. and people you grew up with and everything like that. There's like, if you are not invited to an Asian wedding, you are fucked up in some way. You know what I mean? This you, legit you, sounds like the red wedding from Game of Thrones. It's it, like, it is. You failed to invite me to the wedding. Thus, you have to betray my it, clan. It, it, it you is. will die now. <laughs> you have insulted the house of Manitipo. <laughs> you will not be forgiven for this. <laughs> which, which is why, like, I, I, I didn't want, I didn't want like that side just like involved in my so wedding like at all. Peace on boy. Yeah. 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 Fear not. <laughs> there is another. <laughs> Scroll comes down. We've got to go to appease like the family. You know? <laughs> Fear not, we are bringing the wedding to you. <laughs> <laughs> Burst this, open the doors. This is some Game of Thrones. Shit, <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, like it's like I've like every Asian wedding I've been to is like the most extra thing mm. I've ever oh. seen in the world. <laughs> um, and, and like it's unfortunate that it's also it, it's also extrapolated by the fact that every Asian family I know is fucking massive. It's yeah, absolutely sure. massive. You, you have to especially invite- Especially Southeast Asian Especially, families. oh my God. If like, if I had if I had my wedding in Thailand, I have to invite all my cousins and all like my cousins, Just colleagues. The entirety my cousins of Bangkok, colleagues. essentially. <laughs> <laughs> the entire population of Bangkok at God's <laughs> wedding. Um, so yeah, like that's, that's like, I definitely would not have been able to plan that mm. um, along with just being outside the country. So I was like, fuck that shit. I'm just gonna have a small manageable wedding. Um, and just enjoy it, right? And yeah. just and just enjoy the wedding. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'm got, excited for it, man. Did yeah. you get like an overwhelming amount of people in your Twitch chat asking if we were going to Gant's wedding or when Gant's wedding was yeah. as, as if they're like they were, also planning to go. They, they were like, they were like, you're gonna film it, right? I'm like, no, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why I got that so many times. People are like, so this is a, this is like a trash taste special, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the wedding special. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> oh, <it's a> <laughs> so, could you imagine if I just like rocked up with a fucking camera and being like, all right, so uh, challenge Joe's, Joe's for the day. fucking rocks in one of like yeah. the fucking film cameras. He's like, yo, what's going on? We've got like, like fucking 10 different video crews just like <laughs> filming every angle of this wedding. GoPro on every corner of the room. <laughs> Connor's got like a GoPro on his like <laughs> fucking forehead, like POV. Appreciate <laughs> four out of five. Yeah. Tier list review of all the free drinks. Yeah, I mean oh like, I was, it was actually like, I barely took any pictures at the wedding I attended. Like, because one, you know, one, I, I just felt like, you know, we, we have we have some pictures, but mm. it was more pictures to share in between our mates. And, you know, we might, we'll probably share. Yeah. Me and Sin will probably you share got like a wedding a photog pictures. Photog 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 yeah. Photog photog right? mm. yeah, I don't know how much we're gonna share to social media yet. I don't know yet, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of, I'll decide. Garnt will be wearing a suit and Sydney will be wearing a dress. That's yes. kind of, spoiler <laughs> alert. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's pretty, yeah. <laughs> and everyone will be yeah. nicely dressed. What do you, what, it's not it. gonna be any different just because we're the YouTubers. We're not like, yeah. we're not like whoa, wacky. <laughs> like it's just, I don't know. It's, gonna be the wedding, hey, it's, it's just like a gold play button in the middle, right? <laughs> that'd, that'd be it, dude. Yeah. Susan, <laughs> Susan, Susan comes down, dude. <laughs> Yo, God, dude. Really happy with trash taste, dude. Really happy with you. Susan comes and give, gives a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, we, we say our vows it's, in front it's of just Susan. One, one, one get out of demonetization free card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. It's like just this once. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like there, there have been like other YouTubers who have, you know, very much documented their wedding and, you know, ev everyone's different in terms of choosing how much they wish to share. You know, it's, yeah. it's entirely up to everyone, but you have to understand that everyone's a bit different in terms of how much they choose to share mm. um, because it is a very private event. Yeah, you gotta you know, respect it's, the privacy. It's, it's it's a wedding. So the, the way I see about it is that, you know, I've only, I've only gonna get like one wedding in my life. So mm. how much of this do I want to share over the world? How much of this do I want to keep between myself and my close mates and family? Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'll I'll think about content, it and we'll content, decide. Content, content. Yeah, cause, cause like the <laughs> one- You get one wedding, God, <laughs> <laughs> Like, cause, cause, cause like you, you always like, you, you always, 
you always have to battle the thought of like, you know that whatever you post, it's gonna get like the most engagement that, oh, yeah, you're, ever course, going, course. It, that you're ever going to get. You're like, if I post a video of this, I know it's gonna get fucking f- like t- two, three million views, man. Easy, easy. And that's, 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 that, that's free content, you know? I don't even have to, I'm gonna do it anyway. That's just free content. <laughs> it's like, honey, I know this is like a really like personal thing, but that click right through them, yeah. like, what's up guys? Woo! I'm at the altar with the boys. <laughs> I'm just saying my vows. Seven mid rolls on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Before we jump into that, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Might be a good place to actually put it. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, imagine if we're like fucking live stream that. Imagine the fucking super chats, man. IRL. <laughs> like VTubers could like, v- VTubers could, dr- could dream of getting the super chats oh when you go to the wedding, man. Please, Gaunt will not say his vows until we get at least two grand. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are not moving from this spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you excited to go? You guys excited to go to England though? Because uh, yeah, it's you, it's going to be your second time in England, right? Second First time. One count. First one doesn't count. Oh, what do you mean? I just, you barely got, you barely saw anything. Yeah, you were there for like how long? Like I don't even remember. Like five days, I think. Not even a week, I don't think. Take two good weather spoons this time. <laughs> yeah, you took me to one. Uh, arguably one of the shittiest ones. That's probably the shittiest weather spoons. Yeah. yeah. Take two good ones. You good still one haven't two. taken me to the fucking, uh, like, you haven't still, you still haven't given me like a Tesco meal deal or anything oh, like we'll that. Well, we'll do that too. I thought maybe, should I do like a tier list video? I, don't, I probably shouldn't say that on camera because then people will now expect it. I, was, yeah. I want to do like a, a meal deal tier list. A, a meal, meal deal, deal tier list. Like the <laughs> optimum thing. Cause someone like, I, I, we spoke about it. Wait, did we speak about it on, on the episode? No. No, we did. Not sure. Remember. Oh, fuck it. I won't speak about it. Uh, fuck. What am I going to say now then? <laughs> <laughs> meal deal tier list? I'll do a meal deal tier How many list. meal deals are there? Combinations are endless, Joe. Really? <laughs> endless. Damn. You, you, there's, there's quite a lot, actually, and depending on which stores you go to, different things. So yeah. it's really. Yeah. Is that, I, is that I, what the wedding is? I, I love, how, be I love how, like, Garnt's like, my wedding, my wedding. I'm like, yo, the meal deal combination. So, like, it's kind of. <laughs> let, me, let me show that's, you about that's that. That's what's going to be at Garnt's wedding, right? Garnt's <laughs> like, my, my you can choose like, any dude. Tesco meal deal you want, baby. <laughs> like, Every, everyone else is going to get, like, a nice, fancy, like, <laughs> five <laughs> course <laughs> meal. And on Connor's desk, we're just going to give him a meal deal. There you go, Clowns. You're all clowns. This is worth five pound retail. <laughs> I got it for three pound fifty. Mike fell down, bro. He's like, he's like yo, you got a real deal? What? <laughs> no, I'm excited though, because like, well, you know. Well, Greg's as well. Yo, you gotta go Greg's. You What's Greg's again? It's past pasties. Oh, the pasties, pasties place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, gotta, I gotta try this. I gotta try these pasties. Well, I mean like, you know, because we're probably gonna be there pasties, for pasties. a little longer now. I like, at least one. like a week or, or wow. and a bit. Yeah. So like, I'm planning, hopefully, for like Connor to take me to Wales. Yeah, we'll see if we can do that. We'll see if we can do that. To do that. I yeah. told my parents, I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll see you. Maybe, yeah, maybe. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Wales is fun though. Cause otherwise, um, yeah, let's be real. I'm never gonna go to Wales otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful place. It'll be the only chance, right? Yeah, exactly. Chance. Uh, amazing hiking in Wales. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah like cause also, uh, yeah. you guys are gonna be there and a lot of other people are gonna be flying in as well. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah. it's gonna be like, Really busy, <laughs> I, yeah. I guess, to the days leading up and uh, even the days that you fly in. Yeah, honestly. I'm hyped though. Yeah. I'm hyped. Yeah, it's, good. it's gonna be like way more packed than your last trip to England, I think. Cause I can't mm. remember, why did you come to the, your last trip to England? I can't remember. Cause we, cause Aki and I were already in Europe. Oh, that's Because it. we went yeah, to yeah, Cod yeah. in Finland and we were, we were just like, let's just go on a Europe tour. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, the last stop was the UK. Cause we were like, yeah, I've never, I've never been to the UK. Weirdly, even though I have like a lot of mates who live there. Yeah. yeah it was good though. Brighton was cool. I like Brighton. Brighton's a cool I like city. Brighton. <laughs> we'll have, we'll have, we'll have, uh, we'll have another lads, I, lads night out there. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Kevin's have been like fucking messaging me every day about how keen he is for a lads night. And I'm just like, okay, okay, <laughs> He's Kevin. Always keen for He's a always lads keen for a lads night. <laughs> Kevin, when aren't you keen for a lads night? Let's be honest, Kevin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, I mean, did you get to see a lot of London last time? Cause I don't know. Not really. No, because he was in Brighton most of the time. Yeah, you were in Brighton for most of the time, and London, I don't know if you oh. showed him any of London at all. London's hard to. You took us to uh, like a bunch of like the. Well, you, I mean, you because like Aki's parents were there as well, right? Yeah. So yeah. you kind of like took us to like all of the you know the touristy places, yeah. I guess. Mm. Luckily, London is really convenient for tourist stuff, where they mm. like put everything really close together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can smash it all out in a day. Yeah, but right. I don't know. With London, it's kind of hard if you don't drink. The only place I remember was you took us to like the Harry Potter place. 
the oh, yeah, King's yeah. Cross, whatever it is. Yeah, the platform nine through quarters. Yeah, yeah. It's so it. weird taking people to King's Cross because I just see it as like a train station. It is. Yeah, yeah and it, it is. Because it, it, it like, I think how people imagine it is just like going to the Harry Potter land in like Universal Studios or something, <laughs> right? Where you have fucking Diagon Alley. They serve you like the, you know, whatever, the, like the beer is there. The butter beer. Butter beer, yeah. whatever. And it's no, it's just like one, one like, Car one like wall. half cut out train trolley and uh, a shop. And then yeah. the rest of it is just a fucking normal station. It's pretty yeah. busy though. It, it is it's really always busy. busy. Yeah, it's always busy. Luckily they put it out of the way of the station. So if you're gonna get a train, you don't actually go near it. Yeah. Mm. But there's a pub behind it that sometimes, I don't know why I've been to it, but it's kind of <laughs> annoying to, you know, you're gonna get fucking all the It's a Harry Potter <laughs> thing at all. The pub, yeah. No, just no, 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 it's a normal pub. pub. It's no, it's just pub. a normal pub. Very normal pub. Yeah. yeah. pub though. I do miss pubs actually. I can't wait to go to the pub again. Mm. Yeah. That's all I've been missing. That's it, really. Yeah, I will say England has definitely upped up their bar game since since I've uh, okay. since oh, I've yeah. been away. Yeah, yeah oh, there's a lot more mm -hmm. gaming bars and themed bars as yeah. well. Like uh, uh, anything's better than the gaming bar you guys took me to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, 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 mean, I, I, I went to bar. a better one uh, when I was back last time, and it was good. It's just again really expensive. Like, yeah, really, really, I mean, really expensive. That's that's the price you pay. Like I guess, like literally, that's the price you pay mm. for like the <laughs> we live for in like a society. <laughs> <laughs> like, what a price like, to pay <laughs> for like the upscale of just you know themed bars and everything like that. Because I know we've mm. complained about it before in Trash Taste, and I remember yeah. this time uh, we also celebrated a birthday as well. Mm. And uh, we, uh, Sydney's, uh, Sydney's uh, maid of honor. Mm. Uh, I say maid of honor because her maid of honor is actually a guy. <laughs> um, he booked, he booked her this, uh, this very weird, like uh, not, not weird, but it was a themed bar where yeah. Uh, it was basically like a cowboy themed bar, but it's not just like a themed bar. It was a whole like experience. Like it, it feels, it feels like I'm undermining it, just calling it a themed bar. So mm. you know, you, you go in, and it's you know, it's like you just you know woke up in the south, it's, you know, s southern America during like the deep, like when was like the cowboy fucking years? I, I don't remember. 1800s. Like yeah, 1800s. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Basically Westworld. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's basically Westworld. Everyone's talking in a Southern accent and like they have this, you you get part, you get, you basically, it's like bring your own booze, right? And what they do is they, they take your booze, whatever you choose to bring, and then they will make whatever drinks will, is suitable with all of the booze that you bring. So you don't even buy alcohol there. You get mm. served alcohol there based right. on what you bring and you get taken in and you know, everyone's like a cowboy and then and then suddenly like a sheriff walks in and then this whole, there's this whole fucking storyline that's going on. It's <laughs> it's like, you oh, know, you get drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, they serve you like fucking moonshine down like a back alley and all this stuff. And it's this, it's this entire experience, entire storyline that you get put into that is basically just a bar experience. It just I'm sounds just, like a Universal Studios ride. It kind know? of is, it kind of is. Except with except just- they serve you booze. Except with a lot of alcohol, oh my God. <laughs> God, I got like, like because That's because awesome. because you bring your own booze there, and you know there's no like there's no like limit or there's no like regulation for what you have to bring there. Yeah. You mix a lot of fucking oh drinks God. there, oh so you end up getting very drunk, and then you wake up and you're just seeing a bunch of fucking cowboys like go at each other, and you're like, where the fuck am I? I'm in the middle of London right now. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. I, I got to tell you guys that. It, it just sounds so like strange. a challenge, of like to like bring all your own booze, right? And then it's just like, like you, <laughs> what if? Yeah, I guarantee there's been instances where just someone just brings in like bottles of just like nothing but hard liquor. Yeah. Just puts it on the thing, just be like, <laughs> make it. <laughs> just vodka, make yeah. it. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> so yeah, there is like a lot more choice now in terms of like just interesting bars, bars, mm. bar experiences. It's definitely like leveled up. Yeah, London seems to be changing a lot. It is changing a lot. Mm. Brighton's changing a lot as well. Like I, I, I don't hardly even recognize the city I grew up in anymore just because it's, it's become like this hip modern place. And then like, it, it's gone to the point where, you know, like, you know, you go to some American bars and like, or some bars abroad and you just think, yeah, man, every, every bar needs its thing. You know, it's, yeah. mm. it's, it's thing. So I went to this, like, re I was just like perusing Brighton. And then there was just this bar with a zip liner on it or a zip line on it. I'm just like, right. that's, that's, that's the weirdest gimmick I've ever seen, but. Yeah. Fuck, I want to go on it, man. Wait, a, a zip liner going out of the bar or a zip liner going into the bar? A zip line going out of the bar. So basically there is a bar, which just shows in the UK, 
any gimmick can work if there's a bar next to it. You know? So I think uh, what happened, right, is they built the zip line on like the seafront. And so there's a zip line, so you can climb up and you can zip line down and you, you know- Sounds you like a dangerous s- combination with alcohol. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you can see the beach and everything. And then on the bottom of the zip line, there's just a bar. So it's just now the bar with the zip line on it. <laughs> so, so, pe- so people literally just zip line into the seat of the bar, just like- <laughs> No, 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 no. You, you, you start off in the bar and you All can right. buy tickets to go on the zip line and just zip line down to like the opposite side of like the beach or something like Jesus. that. Um, and that's that's the bar. That's that's just the bar. <laughs> to be fair, I would probably go on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like, I would right. probably do that. That right, sounds really right. fun. Yeah. Just yeah. shows like if it, in in the UK, if you want to come up with with a concept for a bar, just come up with a wacky concept. Doesn't matter what it is. Go karts. Yeah, with alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Just put just just put. They serve some you ag- while you're on yeah. the go kart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put some activity. And alcohol and British people will come to it. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's, that's fairly accurate. I'd say that's <laughs> yeah. pretty spot on. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm excited for you to come back. Uh, I'm excited for you to guys to come back to London this time because mm. there is a lot more to do now. So that's good. I'm sure we can plan out a lot more fun things for you to do, Joey. Oh, um, yeah. I can't remember what I showed you last time. I took you to oh, I took you to Devil's Dyke, which is oh yeah, which is, which is still <laughs> one of the most questionably named places I've ever been to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's basically it's just a hill. It's just a hill. It's yeah. a really nice hill. That's, that's about it's, it. It's, it's, it. I was just laughing the entire way when I found out what it was called. And I was like, they had, they really didn't think that English one was English is a funny language. Yeah. English is a very funny language. That was a nice place. That was yeah, a nice yeah. drive. That's about it really. That's <laughs> about it. I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. Cause you didn't stay in the UK for that long. No. I don't remember. I mean, we also, uh, we also like drank at like Brighton beach and stuff like that, but. Mm-hmm. Other than that, that's about it. What have you been up to, Joe, since gone has been gone? Uh, a lot of stuff I can't talk about yet. Oh, okay. Probably. Yeah. But uh, I hung out with uh, Nano the other day. Oh, oh yeah, nice. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Like, uh, she wanted to hang out and uh, we went to karaoke and apparently she hasn't gone to karaoke in like 15 years. What? Well, that's, well, her, that's her life. Yeah, right? the, because she, like she sings for a job. She goes. I, to, I that's like she's just. Still, I mean, it's, she's just going, it's like unavoidable. Yeah, right. She just goes to karaoke on stage and in yeah. the studio, right? And then <laughs> she sang, and then we got like you know we, we we sang a bunch of songs, and then I was like, "Can you sing one of your songs?" Just jokingly. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know she has her songs on karaoke, right, so it's right. yeah, like yeah. you have to seize that opportunity. Of course, right? of course. And she's like, "I've never sung my own songs at karaoke before," and so <laughs> I thought that was going to be like a no. Right? Yeah. That was like a nice way of her saying no. She then proceeds to put in like literally every song. <laughs> You're like, oh, I got a concert. Yeah, oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, I basically just got a free concert. Maybe no one asked her before. No one, <laughs> yeah. no one had the go. No She's like, I've been waiting for someone to ask me this <laughs> my entire yeah. life, Joey. The audacity of this guy to ask. <laughs> no, but she was really fucking cool. And like, we got to hang out and like, we're, we're gonna hang out a lot more. Um, yeah. yeah, other than that, I've just been like, yeah, every day I've just been like hanging out with someone different. Nice. Yeah, oh, that's just, always fun. Yeah, right? just nice. going out and uh, yeah, it's been good. It's yeah. uh, being sociable again. And you know, after the pandemic, has been really nice. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Uh, have you had a chance to hang out with Aki a lot? Because I know there's a lot of things we yeah. can't talk about. But one thing I will say is that Joey didn't get to see a lot of Aki last month. No, I think like, I saw her for all. like a week, <laughs> 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 maybe. So uh, she was like, you know, yeah, let's hang out a little more. And I was like, yeah, we should, we should probably do that. <laughs> I did. I did though. I did. Uh, we we hung out a lot. Um, like we we go like uh like kind of like once a week dates just to like you know nearby places and right, just like yeah, hang out yeah. and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, oh, yeah? I've I've discovered like a lot of Tokyo <laughs> in this past week. I think really just because I've been going out. So like all sorts of different places yeah, with all sorts right. of different people. So it's like, you know, there's like I was in Shibuya just yesterday for uh my friend Luke's birthday. And like, we went to like all these new places. Like I'd never been before. Like yeah. we, were, we were in like areas of Shibuya where I was like, oh, this is- yeah, Shibuya is huge. This exists. Yeah, yeah it's got yeah. really cool bars. And it's just so weird <clears throat> that like, Tokyo is just one of those places where it's like, it's everything is just so like tight knit yeah. and like kind of yeah. hidden that it, there are just entire areas of cities you've probably never seen yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, oh, oh, this place exists and this is kind of cool. Yeah. My Google maps is fucked. Cause I've saved so many restaurants and bars I like. Yeah. I, 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 like n- none of them mean anything now <laughs> because I don't know which one is which. Like you literally have to fucking- Yeah, like- when, I, when I'm trying to remember a <laughs> bar, I'm like, yeah. there's no search function. 
So yeah. I'm, I'm literally, I'm like, I think it was this area and I'm just checking all my hearts in that area. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, great. It's none of the fucking these. Great, yeah. I'm, I'm fucked. And <laughs> there's, there's I've, no way to categorize. I've actually yeah. started doing that now because yeah. I, I didn't do that before. But mm. <clears throat> because when you go to so many different places and you're trying to recall that one place in Tokyo, right, 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 it's right. like the hardest fucking city. Cause like in most other cities, you can be like, what is this bar? And you like type in the description of the bar. Yeah. You're like, great. There's only one bar in this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like five minutes away. You type in like the vague description in like Tokyo and like seven different bars pop up. And you're like, it was one of these, I think. <laughs> well, I don't even know if I'm describing it right, yeah. you know? It's, it's great. Cause like, you know, like when uh, Emily and Dardis just moved here, it's mm. like, mm. all right, what food do you want? I have, a, I have, a, I have a thing for that. Yeah. Oh, what bar? What kind of bar vibe do you want? All right, I've got like three of each kind. Yeah. Oh, we're in this area. Okay, we'll go to this one. I have the, I have a thing. Like I've saved like everything, so I've got every kind of restaurant, every kind of vibe you'd want. Yeah. So I've got, I've got a bunch. So it's, it's fantastic. But like it's become so extensive now so that you're just like, okay, so you're going for a specific vibe, yeah. specific yeah. food. I know like eight places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which one it, of these eight places do you want? Yeah, then it's like, all right, how expensive do you want? Okay, yeah, right, okay, yeah. but now do you wanna be like five minute walk from the station, 10 minute walk from the station? Okay, we're gonna go this bar afterwards though. Is that okay with you? Or, yeah. Okay. And it's like, all right, okay, okay. Well, then nine, I'm still trying to find more as well. Yeah. 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 So many places, I'll never, I'll never get to see them all. Yeah, honestly, yeah, like even just like in Shibuya, like there's just so many places yeah. to just eat or drink out that like oh, you yeah, could, you awesome. could go out every night to like a bar. Yeah, yeah, like no. a, somewhere different in just in Shibuya and it'll probably take you like mm. years. Yeah, mm. like one one thing I definitely noticed going back to the UK for mm. two weeks I did is that I've definitely taken for granted how easy it is to find somewhere to stay out late <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> yeah. I've like forgotten about that in um in the UK. Cause it's, you know, it's 12 and yeah, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, you, uh. it hits 12 and like every bar closes, every pub closes. So the only place that's like that you can viably go to basically is a uh, is a club. And most of the time mm. I don't want to go clubbing. You know, I don't, yeah. don't want to go to club. I want to continue the conversation I'm having. So I've definitely gotten used to in Japan, you hit up like the karaoke or you, there's this one bar that's open till like 4 a.m. Yeah. Or there's so many places open till late. And I've forgotten that in the UK you hits 12 and you like try to Google where the next place to go to is <laughs> and there's nothing. There is just nothing. You just come out blank and you're like, well, fuck, we gotta keep this going somehow, right? Yeah. And uh, there's just no options available, unfortunately. Yeah, the UK sucks for that. I do remember that. Yeah. Every every night at 12, it's like, all right, fuck, we have to really look to find a place. Yeah. It's just like someone went to like the, the, the power bank and just went pew, right? yeah, <laughs> like yeah. everything just goes down it, it, like, like an apocalypse. Well, yeah, like on Sundays, like shops shut at like 4 p.m. What? Well, like just like supermarkets. Yeah. yeah. Really? Or, or, yeah. Or some places just don't even open. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I, I, think, get, I get the don't even open, but like, what's like, the point of like being open for like I think, five hours? I think, I think, I think London has laws of like, on Sunday, a shop can only remain, remain open mm. for X amount of hours. So they choose like the busiest hours from like yeah. 10 to like oh, four. Oh, I see. I can't remember what the exact hours were, but I know at least where I, the, where I lived in London, it was that mm. rule. Yeah. So all the shops shut and opened at the same time on Sundays. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's it, it's kind of been like that right now, like with uh, it being golden week in Japan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like when, when I was hanging out with Nana, like we were trying to find like a lunch place. Yeah. And it's oh, either, it's, random, it's, it's either it's closed during yeah. golden week right. or it's got like, 200% capacity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you come to Japan, try and avoid this period because uh, hotels and flights and everything is like doubled. Oh my God. Yeah. I saw like pictures of like, like Hanada airport oh God. this oh week. God. It is a nightmare. Yeah, because it's basically the only week off that most working Japanese people have, like where they have a full week off. Yeah. yeah. So they all travel, they all go to hotels. So yeah, try and avoid this week if you come to Japan because yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's rammed. It is. It's the week where every manga chapter takes a week off. That's, yeah. how, that's how you know. That's yeah. how I remember. Is that, is that actually that? Yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I was just like, I was, I remember like, you know, I remember growing up and being like, man, Naruto, One Piece and Bleach are taking a break on like the same week. What's going on? What's going on? I need to know what's happening, man. That's how manga readers tell the time. They're like, oh, Oda's taking a week off. It must be Golden Week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's not only like that bars close as well. Like I forget, you know, combi needs are a thing here. So if you need mm. access to alcohol, if you're going around a mate's house, whatever, you've always got the combi need, but yeah. like you, you want to go to a Tesco's or a Sainsbury's or something, you better hope that you plan ahead and you get it before like 11, which yeah. is some places close at 11 and that's like the latest mm. some places close. It's just like double the price of the alcohol because yeah. you're at a corner store that's shitty and they make yeah. all their money from upcharging alcohol. Yeah. But even, but even like there are some corner stores you go to, especially in London where, you know, it's open. 
but they don't serve alcohol past 12. Uh, so it's 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 like, well, fuck, man. <laughs> you you literally have no options, so. But I discovered that the other day when I was like coming home late and it was like, you know, last train and stuff. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh man, feeling a bit hungry. Like might just like pop over to a McDonald's, just do a quick little Macca's run before mm, yeah, I go. Yeah. And it was like 1 a.m., right? And yeah. the McDonald's is still open. I was like, oh, sick, amazing, oh, let's go yeah. in. So I walk in and the guy's like, Dorinku only. What? And I was like, <laughs> Who the fuck is walking into a McDonald's to get a drink? Yeah, I'll, I'll close the sign for you, bro. Let me close yeah, the sign. like literally, why are you Shut open? it down, dude? Shut it down. It's like I can just go to a company. Yeah, it's so stupid, bro. Who's going? Who's going to a McDonald's? Being like, um, one Sprite, please. How, like, how much money are they? at one AM as well. At right? one AM, like, how much money they're making from like the drinks to like Warren staying open only for drinks? I mean, I, I thought it was a bit weird being like, oh, okay, it's still open, but there's no one in here right yeah. now. Sus, dude. Now I know. Sus. Now you don't know your target audience if you're at 1 a.m. and you're serving drinks only. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, like there isn't like a special drink that's only served at McDonald's, you know? Yeah. Oh Man, there's only one reason I'm going to McDonald's at 1 a.m. It's to smash a fucking- Yeah, it's like, give me a fucking burger. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. smash a burger. Smashing a burger or like ordering those 20 nugs, which yeah. you would never order except at 1 a.m. at a McDonald's. You like know? I'm not here to smash an orange juice at a McDonald's <laughs> at 1 a.m. Like I can do that anyway. I, I always get the Milk. <laughs> milk. Yeah, I just get a milk. I only exclusively drink I, I McDonald's milk. milk. I go there for milk. That's it. That's Ronald's it. milk. Why do you go there for milk? I, I don't know. I, I used to order it though. It's all right. It's like shit there. I don't know why. How do you I, fuck up milk? <laughs> Ronald, man, Ronald's secret sauce. Ron, Ron, Ronald's Ronald fresh sauce. squeeze. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really been up to much either. I've kind of just been working. I went to uh, I went to barbecue a bunch. That was fun. Oh, Barbecuing yeah. was chill. Nice. It was nice. It was raining though. How's how's the weather been here? Oh, I, was like, I guess I was going. <laughs> <laughs> literally, you answered my question as I was processing what I was <laughs> going question. to say. So this place I stayed had like a place outside where you could still barbecue even if it was raining because it was like covered. Right. Oh, so yeah. That was fun. And it was, yeah, it was fun. I like barbecue. It's, it's, it's a good time for barbecue right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like just nice. warming up, yeah. So that was chill. Got to do that. That was fun. I just smelled of smoke for three days. It was fun. And then we had like a bonfire and then it was nice. very fun because you just keep adding. <laughs> and we just chop our own wood as well. That was fun. Oh, that's camping fun. vibes again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Cause it had the, Did you have like an axe and everything? It was a hammer and there was like a thing where you put the log on and it was like a, like a metal thing like this. So oh, you nice, nice. Smack nice. it into it. Oh, cool. I could just hear like the, I don't know, like the, the the dwarf music from Lord of the Rings in my head. Just like, while I was like smacking away, just like, bring me another log. Do, 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 do. As you were chopping and your beard just extensively. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I felt like dude, I felt, I just, <laughs> Should have put on like a, one of those like lumberjack. Yeah, yeah, I knew I should have. I was like, yeah, dude, this is what it's all about. Yeah, like bringing know. my logs over like this. I'm like, all in the fire we go. <laughs> You know, the the red and black checkered shirt, yeah. you know? Yeah, it was so fun. I don't know why chopping wood was so fun. Your your hair just turns red. Yeah, right. I definitely, it's like, oh, I'm a ginger definitely now. Definitely am a monkey, dude. I was yeah. like smacking it, it was fun. Yeah, dude, it's the best feeling. So fun. I feel like yeah. There's just something primal about that. Yeah, know? I just went to Costco yeah. before mm. and bought a bunch of food and barbecued it. And we I bought way too much food because it was really hard to eat it all. I mean, it is Costco, right? I know, I know, yeah, it was yeah. so much food, but yeah. it was so fucking good. It's so delicious. Barbecue. Yeah. I love barbecue. How long were you there for? Uh, like three days. So oh, pretty nice. chill, mm, pretty nice, chill. Nice. It's nice to relax, get away. Yeah. And just uh, chill for a bit before yeah. I guess I'm gonna go away again. But it's because like this next th two, three weeks are just all work. Mm. So, and then going to the UK, yeah. with a little bit of work. Yeah, wedding like, and stuff. So. I'm trying to like pack as much as I can before I fly back to right, the right, UK. Right, right, right. Yeah. Cause it's definitely like, I was like, yeah, I'm going, I can work at home. I have like, I have like a dedicated office where I can work and stuff mm -hmm. if I need to. But it's just something about being out of Japan. My body's just like, you are in holiday mode now. Yeah. You do, why yeah. do you need to work? People are out, people want to see like, you. Like I'm telling myself, I'll be like, oh, I'll have a bit of time in the UK to like do some stuff. I, yeah. can, I could probably just like sneak it in. I know though, the moment I get there, I was just like, yeah, so pop. Pump. I want to. Oh yeah, I want to live stream, but I just feel like I'm going to be stream sniped into oblivion in London. I, if, I, if I'm drinking at a pub, people yeah, will, yeah, it could be fun though. Trash taste is definitely like it's definitely changed things for me in the UK in terms of yeah. I was about to ask like how much were you like recognized in the UK? Uh I like, compared to before. 
A lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the fucking, like at this wedding I went to, the bartender was a fan of trash taste, right? <laughs> no and, no and, way. And, and, <laughs> That's fucking, awesome. Fucking, mates rates, mates <laughs> rates. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Fucking, fucking Sydney controlled him to like giving him like a free drink because because she was like, you recognize him, but you don't recognize me. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> well, it's not fucking Sydney's know, trash tape. What the fuck is she on about? <laughs> she managed to get a she's literally been on the show one time and she's like, I'm the one who was on trash Do you know who I am? Well. I am getting married to him actually. <laughs> oh my God. So I am basically also trash taste. <laughs> she, she, she was also very intoxicated at this time as, as we all were, but um, no, but uh, yeah, like because Brighton has become like, I oh, guess- YouTuber city for the The UK. influencer city, mm. like it's so weird. Like I can't, like sometimes I'll just be sitting at my local pub, um, which I won't say, but it is <laughs> my local pub. Yeah. So it is within the vicinity which in which I live. Yeah. Um, and it's very like nervous whenever, like, nerve wracking whenever like I get recognized there because one, it's weird to go to like the pub that you grew up in mm. and that you always went to and you know, you, uh, you grew up there um, and now you go there and sometimes the odd person just recognizes you from trash taste yeah. and it's always trash taste. It's all like, yep. it's, it's all trash taste. So um, sometimes like people recognize me even though I got, like, I got the mask on when I'm like walking in Brighton. Um, it's, it's super, super surreal because obviously it's the place I grew up in and now it's like, it's become this really hip happening influencer city, mm. you know? Um, it's basically the LA of UK when it comes to YouTubers. Right? Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. So yeah. there's like, there's actually like, I, I think I got recognized more in Brighton per se than I did in London. Cause London's mm. like a bit more spread out. It's a bit yeah. more, mm. like, it's a bit mm. more dispersed. You know, I, I do get recognized the odd place in London, mm. but definitely like in Brighton, it's, it's way more concentrated. Like whenever I go to the city center, it's, you know, and there's normally like one or two people that recognize me from Trash Taste. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Probably be the same for you guys as well. Maybe yeah. I, I blend in really well though. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Can't quite say the same thing for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's gonna be interesting because like we haven't really like, you know, since Trash Taste started, we haven't really like had that yet, right? Yeah, because yeah. like, you know, the borders have been closed here. So like not as many foreigners coming to Japan. I mean, yeah. a little more recently, I'd say. I mean, yeah. I've been like, I, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but like the past like month or so, I've been like, oh. Yeah, I got recognized what, what twice, people twice, in one, <laughs> twice in one day the other day. Oh, really? Oh, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've noticed Where there's about? like a lot more people now. Shinjuku. Oh, okay. Well, that so, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was like, I was like, whoa, that's weird. It's yeah. happening a lot more. Yeah, so. because people are coming in now. Yeah. Like they've uh, made it a lot easier to uh, get in the country. Yeah. Uh, at least my experience was. Uh, this time I spent an hour and an hour and a half in the airport as opposed to four hours, That's which good. was nice. Yeah, which is nice. That's really. Good. Uh, they've like uh, the the first thing I noticed is that they removed the fucking cattle tag that they that they oh like God, give everyone. God. So I didn't feel like livestock, which was a nice positive. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't imagine if you like you're waiting for years to come in, you know, on your work visa. Finally, the fucking country opens, and the first thing they do is like tag you like fucking brand cattle, you. like fucking brand you, you know. <laughs> so you know, thank, thank God they've uh, removed that system. Um, yeah. yeah, everything's just a lot more streamlined now. Um, and I mean, it's like, it's a lot easier traveling outside of the country as well. Mm. I mean, England, I didn't Thank even God. need to get tested or give like a vaccine certificate or anything. <laughs> it's just, it's just back to normal, right? Jeez. <laughs> God That's bless so the weird. queen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ho hopefully it lasts. Cause like the one thing I'm really fucking worried about is, you know, while we're overseas, like say at Gant's wedding mm. and then they'll just like, Discovered a new strain, guys. Yeah, 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 Let's yeah. go. Yeah. I feel like even if they do, people are gonna be like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think so. <laughs> well, the one thing that I am, I don't know if I'm looking forward to or dreading mm. is the next convention we guys, we, we go to. Mm. Yeah, it's a shame we can't announce what it is yet. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We are going to a convention. We, we, yes. are, we, are, we are going to several conventions, yep. but like, I remember what it was like before Trash Taste. I can't imagine what going to a convention is going to be like. Yeah, con after Conflu, trash taste. Hyped, Conflu yeah. was always a thing, you know? Yeah. And now it's like Conflu on steroids is a thing now. Yeah, one one thing we've definitely, like we've definitely had to plan around mm. that I've never, we've never needed to do before in conventions is uh, uh, like planning what we're doing and the events we're going to is that technically we are now a fire hazard. 
you know? Some yeah. Con- some conventions. It, yeah. At, at, at some, some conventions, conventions, we are now a fire hazard. Yeah. Uh, so that's something that I never had to think about before. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> like, people are asking like, do you want security? And I'm like, oh, I feel so weird. I yeah. Just, yeah. I I, I, do I already want a guy just following me around? But then <laughs> I guess I don't want to get hurt, but I mean, yeah. it feels weird. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, it, does. It, it definitely feels weird because it's definitely a different kind of planning than any like than any of the conventions I've been to before. Um, Cause like, I've always seen like, you know, there's been like a couple of big guests at like conventions I've been to, right? That have yeah. security guards and yeah. security. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> look at this guy. Uh, big look dick this, on yeah, campus. Look at yeah. this guy, oh, the big dick brigade coming yeah. through. And now I'm about to be that guy. <laughs> well, it's, it's, and I don't know how to feel about that. Because like, I don't want to be like, guys, I, 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 don't, I don't need all this extra shit. Come yeah. on guys, come on guys. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a guy, I'm just a guy. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I'm like, especially being about this time, being like, I can't even walk down my local streets. How's it gonna be where all of the weebs and all of the people without <sighs> interested in your oh, content um, and your, you know, and your content field mm. are going to be concentrated in one place. And I'm just like, that's uh, pretty scary. Now yeah. that I think about it, I've never- It's cool though. I mean, I'm, it's, it's I'm, gonna be really I'm, cool. I haven't seen it in a while. I'm excited to see what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the last fan meetup I had, I can't remember. It's quite, it was a decent amount of people who showed up to it. So yeah. I, I don't even know if I can even do a fan meetup this time. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I was talking to Alan and he was just like, yeah, remember when you used to do like unofficial fan meetups? Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't think that's happening this time. And I'm just like, yeah, because it is, it is a fire hazard or like that has to be taken into account when we do any kind of meetups mm-hmm. now. Like how are we gonna arrange people who come to see us? And uh, are we blocking no. anything that could potentially be a health and safety hazard? It sucks I'm though, cause I'm I miss- piss off the convention people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it basically. sucks though, cause I, I used to do like those kinds of like casual fan fan meetups every now and then with Aki and like, I miss that shit. I miss that it's shit like, as well. It's cause it's so chill. Yeah. Cause it's like, you know, you just like, you just tweet out being like, hey, we're going to be here for like a couple of hours. If you want to hang out, just come yeah, hang yeah. out. And it's usually like, you know, like 50 people max. And that's yeah. like a sizable amount of to be like, yeah, okay, you know what? This is yeah, this, this is, is kind of chill. You can talk to people. Yeah, yeah you can, you talk, can, talk, to, you can talk to everyone. You can have a conversation yeah, with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Interesting to hear where people have come from. And yeah, why yeah, 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 I've yeah, met yeah. like so many cool people through that. And now it's just sucks that like, yeah, it's a fire hazard now. And now oh, it's an Indian wedding. And now Wherever it's an we Indian go. wedding. <laughs> so, now, so now here's the, the strat. If you see me outside the convention, yes, the better that you can talk to me. Yeah, 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 exactly. But that's like that's like playing gotcha. Yeah, that is the gotcha. You'll probably never see me outside the convention because I don't leave my room but maybe if you do we can talk a little bit unless i'm in a rush then i'll be like sorry because yeah. then it, it's always that it's always that instance of like if someone recognizes you in those kinds of like outside of convention settings yeah it, all it takes is for one person to be like oh my god connor for everyone to just yeah fucking whip their heads around <laughs> yeah. and then a crowd gets formed, yeah, you know? yeah 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 conventions when there's crowds people normally want to see what the crowd's about yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah because i remember the worst i saw it before was you at the singaporean convention where i it was it was like traveling next to fucking justin bieber you know <laughs> Like I, we we had like this. That like, was pretty. We crazy, had like yeah. panels to go to, and I remember it was just like you could not take two steps without being stopped. Yeah, and uh, that yeah. was the first time I had to get security. <clears throat> yeah. Oh wow. And I was like, Did you get security? Yeah, oh, I, wow. I had oh, to wow, wow, because wow. the yeah. con was literally like, if you keep going, you're going to be a fire hazard. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was like, this is cool, but also really yeah. fucking weird. Yeah, a uh, fire hazard, but just because you're like blocking walkways or something, it's not not like it's a big deal. But like, if if you if you're, it's forming, not like someone's there with a fucking match. It, but yeah. like, <laughs> people are stopping, right? So if you if you just stop in a hallway or something, it's yeah. technically a fire hazard, and yeah. like a, a lot of the venues can be like punished if that like gets yeah. shown yeah. around that that's happening. You know, you're like ten people stop, that's fine, that's manageable. Fifty people stop, you know, you're not kind ideal, of you you're, can, you're mm-hmm. kind of you know getting in the way of people. If like a hundred, two hundred people stop, then you are stopping oh, right. the flow of people walking about. Yeah. You're, causing literal, I was gonna call it human traffic, but like, but like is there like a word? You are human trafficking. <laughs> yeah. Not the same. Yeah. You are human trafficking right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what the word is or the term is, but it's basically- Human just like, traffic jam. I, 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 yeah, I, I, a I, human uh, traffic jam, yeah. I guess. I went to a convention, I think you went to the same one. Mm. Or name it just in case I get annoyed. Um, that apparent one year they had uh, Markiplier at the convention. Yeah. And apparently this is like the first convention that Markiplier ever did. It was I, in the I States. know which coin yeah, you're talking yeah. about, yeah. And uh, I, I, they spoke about this like it was like the zombie apocalypse, dude. <laughs> because apparently, right, what yeah. happened was is that, you know, uh, I think some, did, I think, did Jack, Jacksepticeye go too? Uh, one of the years, I think. I remember yeah. it was a really big, big fucking deal. And the convention, uh, like runners didn't 
like they knew YouTube and they knew that it was like a big deal, but they didn't yeah. quite understand yeah. like how big of a deal it was. Mm. So they were like woefully unprepared yeah. for like uh, like Markiplier's audience. <laughs> and apparently they were just like, it was like insane. Yeah. Like the, yeah. the security barriers, they didn't like have anything really. Yeah. And so <laughs> like, apparently it was like stampedes. Like people right. were just getting like hurt and they had like one security guy for like a thousand people <laughs> when only a hundred people should have turned up and they didn't plan, you know, and they had, cause, yeah. cause they had like, they paid, I don't know, God God knows the amount of money for that one extra and that one Marvel movie. And they were like, well, he's the, he's the big deal. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, they just kind of didn't get it. And apparently they, they it talked an about absolute it. nightmare. Yeah, apparently. they yeah. talked about it as if it was like a scene ripped straight out of like, like Dead World Rising. Like or something. Yeah, 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 like Dead Rising. It's just like, yeah. it was insane apparently. Was but like, like every, yeah, every yeah. single time anything would come up, they'd be like the event that shall not be named. <laughs> it was such a disaster, like trying to manage this, that they, they the convention, I, I think that their reasoning was that they like banned uh, him from coming back. And it's yeah. like, I was like, it sounded like, sound like it was your problem though. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I don't know, I, I can't remember exactly How dare you be too popular yeah, right. for our convention? I, I think that that's something like that. They, they It was really well, like they had fucked up massively yeah. and not considered. Well, I, th I think, uh, you know, it's, it's events like this that have thankfully made events and people and not just events but right. also like influencers themselves uh no i know i know i hate the word i hate i hate <laughs> shut up but like we're like you know people like us <laughs> <laughs> we are not the same <laughs> we don't like those other no, people no no because because like the reason i talk about like you know youtubers or you know you know, you know uh, TikTokers uh, or whatever is that yeah. we we came we came from like you know we all came from the same place and we don't want to we don't want to feel like we you know we don't need security we don't need to worry about this we're like we're like we're like the man of the people you know mm. but like at the same time there's been enough incidents like the Markiplier thing like Tanacon you know like uh, a lot there's mm. been enough other influencers who have set the president to be like things can go really, really fucking wrong if you don't uh, plan shit out because yep. you we know that you wanna be seen as, you know, the casual person, you know, you you know, the same, you know, the same as everyone else, but you do have a massive audience and you need to do like it's gotten to the point where a lot of people need to think about how do they manage yeah. the audience they have IRL because yeah. you see a number, you see a number on your YouTube, and you're just like, "That's ten thousand people, or that's a hundred thousand people." It's it's just a number, but yeah. when you translate that number, even if it's just like a tenth of the number you see on your YouTube channel, to real life, that's you know that's that fills up. That's a like that's like a yeah, that's like a football stadium. I guess that, that's what really sucks about not going to like a convention at all recently is that mm. we can't like tell like because you know it would slowly ramp up, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to more I have no clue. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what's gonna what be our like. IRL yeah. situation. Cause, cause like normally like with, with how Trash Chase has grown over like the past two years, normally we'd like, we'd get to like ramp up the experience to be like, yeah. okay guys, I think we're mm. reaching that point where we need to kind of start thinking about this, kind of start thinking about that. But because it's just been two years of us talking in Japan, we have no idea what it's going to be yeah. like mm. when we like, I guess, return to the rest of the world mm. and conventions and stuff like that. I'm, we're, we're just playing a guessing game. A lot of the yeah. time and like what we're gonna need and how we're gonna manage it. Last time I went to AX, I could like easily walk through it all. And there was like, maybe like, I don't know, 50, 50 chance that I would, someone would recognize me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that was when I had like, what, 400,000 subs or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and that was before Trash Days, obviously. Yeah. So that's, I don't know what it's gonna be like now. I mean, who knows? <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, dude, it's yeah. not excited for it. I'm, well, yeah, like, I'm, I'm excited. excited. I'm, I'm excited but dreading. Yeah. I'm like, oh God, I don't want to cause any problems. It's like, yeah, yeah. it's like equal but amounts. I want to meet everyone. I want to say I'm, hi to you guys. It's equal amounts excitement, equal amounts terrifying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Say the same here. I'm, I'm nervous in both ways. I'm like, yeah. I'm excited to go experience conventions and just go see the vibe and everything again. I'm scared to see how things have changed after yeah. uh, after the last also two years. warning the loss of my weird convention stories probably now. You know, I, I don't get to stay in random Discord Airbnbs that where I met people online. All right. Yeah, That's not gonna happen anymore. <laughs> that sucks. <Sad. laughs> that was fun, fun, fun stories. <laughs> weird moments in my life. He I'm, will yeah. reminisce as he sits <laughs> in his five-star hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just like you for real. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he doesn't miss that. No. Connor no. Connor's just like, I give me the fucking five-star yeah. hotel I think right I think now. Give me the Right now, <laughs> no, it's, I, I, it's it's fun, but also it's like, god damn, I that was that was no way to live. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like, damn, bitch, you live like this. 
I think I got all my really stupid ideas out of my head and now I'm trying to be more sensible and take care of myself. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's oh, time God. to adult now. <laughs> oh, this episode is sponsored by Harry's. Boys, you know I've been using Harry's for a very long time. Yes, it's you have. It's the yes. only razor I trust near my beautiful boyish young face. <laughs> and it's become part of your routine it now, hasn't it? It's become part of my daily routine because it's the only blade that I trust that'll give me the best shave possible. Well, then you'll be happy to know, Connor and audience, that Harry's is giving their best offer to you guys Get out right of now. Get out of it. That's right. First time Harry's customers can redeem a starter set for just three dollary dues. Three dollars? If you go to harrys.com slash trash taste, that includes a five blade cartridge, oh a <gasps> weighted handle, <gasps> foamy shave gel, <gasps> and a travel cover to protect your blades on the go. A $13 value Th for just- What? $3. Harry says the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry, I can concur. And they're still offering a no risk trial. Don't like your shave? No worries, it's on them. So what are you doing? Get the new look with the same incredible offer. There's never really been a better time to give Harry's a try. Just go to harrys.com slash trash taste to get your starter set for just $3. That's harrys.com slash trash taste. Back to the episode. Okay, well, I guess uh, we've literally got approval from Maylin that we can announce, actually. What well, are we announcing? One where uh, one place that we're going is going to be Anime Expo. Ah! That should have been the obvious one. I, I, I feel <laughs> like us announcing Anime Expo is just like, well, of course, of course. Uh, That's the I, I also eat food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am an anime uh, YouTuber. <laughs> no one knew if it was even happening this year. And, and yeah, I mean, is, I so certainly got fucking bombarded by my Twitch chat being like, you got Anime Expo? Anime Expo? So, uh, yeah. If you go to X, you can see us all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Panels and stuff. I don't know what else. We got hopefully a bunch of like cool things planned. Can not, we announce? Not, can we announce the rest of the shit that I we're doing? Think not okay, sure yet. Okay. We do have something special. There's some cool planned. stuff happening. So, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we do have. It's not just going to be <laughs> us turning up at AX. We do have some cool stuff mm. planned for AX as well. So yeah, and we'll uh, we'll see you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. see me around, say hi. Uh, buy me a drink, um, and I'll-, I'll don't, don't, don't say that, you're gonna be like- 200 You're gonna be steep. like intoxicated. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't do that, don't do that. What am I gonna do with all these drinks? <laughs> don't, don't bring me a drink. If we're in a bar, then you can buy me There's a drink. gonna just be like a line of like, to the Sea Dog VA yeah. like panel, just like, here's a drink, and then here's a drink. It's just like, uh, a li like an uh, offering. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna say this now, because this always happens. Please don't bring me food. It is an absolute nightmare to try and carry around with me. Yes. I don't want food. Don't bring me food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. also fat enough. I don't need any more. Yeah. If you honestly. do, if you do see me outside of the convention, buy me a drink as well. Yeah. Uh, as long as I'm not like carrying five drinks at the time. I buy you a drink. As well. The only yeah. food I will accept, however, is flaming hot Cheetos. You can you can bring me as oh, many. No, 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 because they'll, they'll, they'll everyone will bring one. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> okay, that's, just that's, give it to me. That's, him. that's a Joey. Thing. Just give it to me. That's Bro, a Joey. His hotel is gonna be a fucking hot Cheeto landfill, dude. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna be like just open the window and just like throwing fucking Cheetos. Cheetos to the crowd. <laughs> you get some Cheetos. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm excited, dude. I'm really yeah. uh, First time the, in, geez, when was the last AX we went to? Three, three years ago? Yeah, it, was, it was literally the last convention I went to. Sure. Because it was like one of my, it's always one of my favorite conventions to go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we always get to meet everyone. It's yeah. not just a convention. It's basically just like, yeah, it's- An Anichuba meetup. It's, it is an Anichuba meetup. How the yeah. British people get to see the American people. Pretty much, yeah. Because we're all not American. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wonder how many people are gonna go there this year in terms of yeah, I don't other know. content creators and stuff like that. You know, well, if, call to action. Well, if, if you're any content creators going to AX, hit us up, whatever. Yeah. See you there. Yeah, big small. <laughs> yeah, we'll be in LA as well, care, so yeah. if you, yeah, let yeah. us know. I wonder if we're gonna have the, like, the annual AniTuber meetup. I, Cause like, did you guys go to that last year? Uh, last time, I can't remember. <gasps> I did not. Because there's where, like- Where was the last one? Not, what, not, not the one at the bowling alley. That was one of the bowling alley? Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's the, uh, the funny you the animation what party. Is? Huh? Do you want to explain what this is? Yeah, so every, every uh, when did it even start? I don't even remember I when it started. I can't remember. I think it was like five, six years ago or something. But like, as long as I've been to AX, there's always been one. But there, yeah. there's always been like this like unofficial like Anituba meetup like thing where yeah. basically, uh, it used to just be done at, like outside of the, the convention hall, like in that uh, yeah, open yeah, area yeah. where all the cosplays are. And it's just like, it's like, it doesn't matter how big or small of an attitude you are, you can just come to this event, you know, kind of meet everyone. Cause like <laughs> at the end of the day, like, especially like five, six years ago, the attitude community was so fucking small, right? Mm. Yeah. So, you know, there'd be like, 
30 people. Yeah, 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 yeah. The last one I went to though, there was like a hundred people. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's getting big, big <laughs> yeah. now. It's like, getting big now. Hell. I think because that one was like, all right, people were asking for invites and the people were asking them for invites. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, And then there were people there who definitely weren't making YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah people yeah, just yeah. like showing and up. They were yeah. just showing up because they knew Giga would be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so it, was exactly. Like, it was like, ah, uh, I don't know. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how it's going to work nowadays, but there's normally like one of like, there's normally like one Annie Chiba or something who has just rented out a house. And that, that yeah. just, that's just now become like the unofficial Anitube meetup. Pretty much. Well, they just ran out of house and they just, they just invite a bunch of people, yeah. you know? And that uh, one was chill. That, that one was I awesome. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. But yeah, the one the last time we did one like outside of the convention was like five years ago, I think. And there was like maybe 50, 60 people there. Obviously mm. way too many people to like actually like, you know, meet yeah. and get to know personally. But like, yeah, I, I miss those. Like, you know, I met like a lot of like really cool and she was in that mm -hmm. event. I met yeah. I met John for the first time. Super Eye Patch Wolf there. I love seeing John. The first yeah. time he was love like he was the he was the crowd favorite that year because <laughs> he'd never been to a convention and never shown his face. So everyone was <laughs> like, "Yo, Super Eye Patch Wolf, let's go, dude!" Yeah, Amazing also Berserk absolutely video. chill, dude. As well. Absolutely yeah. chill, yeah. dude. Absolute Chad. He's the mega chat of Anichu in terms of looks. <laughs> <laughs> Man's got a fucking jawline and a half, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm hyped, man. I'm I'm really excited to. Go to conventions. I think not being able to see the viewers for a long time has like made my brain go too YouTubery. I got YouTube brain. What, what, like, what do you mean? Like, what's, what's it's all numbers for me. <laughs> it's all numbers, dude. I, I, it doesn't mean anything to me. I haven't seen anyone. It's just I haven't left my house. I, I, just, I just stay in Japan, even more isolated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just want to be drinking at a bar and then someone strikes up a conversation be like, oh, I, I love your stuff. And then we just have like a nice chill yeah, conversation. That's like some of my favorite fan interactions because as much as I want to have like the longer like conversations with people who come to meetups, it, you know, it's like, yeah, you're in like Indian wedding, like headspace where it's just like, <laughs> you know, you, you have a, you know, if, if you're lucky, like a few minutes with, with everyone, but yeah. when you're just chilling and that random guy recognizes you or random girl, you just having like a nice conversation. You're just like, ah. Oh, I remember why I started what I'm doing right now. Yeah. It's for moments like this, man. I, I weirdly have a lot of those though in Japan, mm. I think, because mm -hmm. like you got, you don't get recognized as often in Japan, like especially nowadays, right? So like the one person who does find you on the street, you actually, you know, as long as you're not in a rush, like you actually have like, you know, at least me anyway, I have like a, you know, at least like a three or four minute conversation being like, oh, you know, what are you doing here? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff. And like, those are the best. Yeah. Those are the best. Well, in Japan, it's like different because right now, no one here is a tourist, right? So yeah. everyone here is like Student doing mainly. something or has like an yeah. interesting story or is like working here or something like yeah. that. And lots of students now. Lots of students now. Now there is lots of lots of students now. Yeah. I don't know, because like, when did they start letting people in again? Uh, a month ago? Like a month ago? Yeah, yeah I've I mean, noticed, I've noticed this loads I mean, I've more. barely in, been in Japan for the yeah, last yeah. month. Like, how's it been for you guys? I did a it's stream a recently and I got stream sniped a lot more than last time. Right. So I think that that was that was interesting. It's yeah, fun, yeah, man. yeah. Like it's it's definitely gone to the point now where again, like I've just noticed there's like oh, there's a lot more foreigners now, and then yeah. I just remembered like oh yeah, there's just a lot more students now, yeah. and then obviously yeah. you know you have more of a chance to get recognized. Like I was in like butt fuck middle of nowhere like the other week, mm. uh, you know, outside of Tokyo, yeah. and there was yeah. just like two random dudes who just like recognized me, and I was just yeah. like this is this like in my head I was like this is weird, but then I was like. No, this is what it used to be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now it's so now it's just this like weird like kind of whiplash of being like, oh fuck, we're like slowly going back to normal. Finally, yeah. hopefully, the world the world is healing. Nature is hopefully, healing. Nature is healing. <laughs> Rage. Yeah, because you're planning to go back to Australia this year as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go see my family for the first time in three years. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> fucking hell. Well, I mean, like the trip to the UK uh, for your wedding is the first time I'm going to be overseas in three years. Pog, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, because the last time you attempted to go, go overseas, you got deported. I got right? deported. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been waiting three years since then. Uh, yeah, oh my, God. my last, my, that's, it's like PTSD now. Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. the last time I went on an international flight, I got deported, so. That's a cool story. That's, that's a cool a story. It's a cool, cool story, story to tell the kids, but yeah. like, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm going down to like, yeah, see my family and mates and stuff like that. So that's going to be, very weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like seeing the city I grew up in, like completely change. Cause yeah. I, my sister was saying that like, yeah, this it's completely changed in the yeah. past three years. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be weird. It it, it, it it was very weird going back to my home city and just seeing it completely changed as well. Yeah. And even just seeing London slowly changing. Oh, the skyline of London, there's loads more skyscrapers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like two. And now there's like tons more being built. <laughs> it's crazy. I do, it's, yeah, I, I wonder how it managed to not get them for so long then. It's very strange. 
But now yeah. I'm gonna be so scared, like of what you experienced, of just like being at like a place that's very like local and familiar to me. Yeah, yeah. Like if I go to like my local mall, I'm yeah. just gonna be like, no one recognize me, please. <laughs> Not here. Don't don't follow me home, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's that's what I was worried yeah. about. Yeah. God. Be like, can I come to my house for some tea? <laughs> some Meet crumpet. my parents. Have some crumpets and biscuits. <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, London's become very bougie. I like, I, I called an Uber. Like, I, it was like my first Uber in, in oh, London. Wow. Yeah, mm. and uh, a fucking Tesla shows up. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I was just like, this is an Uber, right? I yeah. just called an Uber. Yeah, a fucking Tesla shows up. And huh. like, I'd, I'd never ridden in a Tesla before, right? right. Uh, have you guys ever ridden in a Tesla? Yeah. No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, so like, I didn't know how they worked because the first thing you normally go when you go to a car is you go and you pull the handle, right? So I go up to this Tesla and there's no handle. It's it's literally just like, it's literally kind of like a flat kind of handle piece, yeah. handle place. So I didn't know you were meant to like just push it yeah, in push and, it and in, yeah. the handle comes out. Yeah. I was just like, I was like, daddy Elon has designed some like fucking futuristic, like travel to Mars fucking, fucking stuff. It's probably electric. So I'm standing there in front of the Tesla like thinking it's like an automatic door going. <laughs> so, so I'm like, uh, did, he, did he have to? Open uh, it yeah, he, he had to. He had to like oh, come no. out, just like tell me, just just to like push the handle in. I just imagine God just being like, open, <laughs> open. Hey, Tesla. Daddy Elon, please. Open. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> was it fun though, riding on a Tesla? It was very fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's a toy. Huh? It's like a, it's like a toy because it's like so <laughs> futuristic. It really? is. It is. Uh, I'm cool. excited. Yeah, it was. It was weird, like seeing, you know, seeing like the pad at the front just completely track everyone, yeah. uh, all, all the cars. But like when it came to pedestrians, it was just like fucking freaking the fuck out because <laughs> there's so many pedestrians oh, in London. In London. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> so it would, you know, just, just seeing it like, just like humans appear and disappear. Then like this dog was a dog was a human, then it wasn't. And, but like, it, it was, it, it was very cool. It, it is very much a toy. Um, I know like um, our mate's parents own, owns one as well. Yeah. And, never uh, shuts up about it. Huh? Never shuts up about it. Yeah, never shuts up about it. He drives yeah. it and he's like, oh, my mum bought it though. He doesn't <laughs> mention that. He's like, it's my Tesla, <laughs> our Tesla. Our <laughs> Tesla. Yeah, cause uh, he took you on plenty of- uh, Yeah, I went on this Tesla. On yeah, yeah. I, I got shit in the car. I'll tell you about that. Remember that? You I got shit in the car, remember? Have we told out on- No, I haven't. Have, have we told about that on Trash Taste? Right, we so, haven't. Uh, we were driving in this Tesla <laughs> in the countryside. Yeah. You know, and, I, and the Tesla, cause it'd been sitting there all day. I had the window down. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I can't remember exactly what happened, but it was like we were driving along this really country road. Mm. And then, <laughs> oh no, I don't remember what happened. We're driving along this country road. It's kind of dirt road. It's, it's, you know, it's not the cleanest road we're going. And then he's trying to show off that it can go like naught to 60 and like, you know, yeah. as every car owner does, they have yeah. to prove that the car is fast. Yeah. As if normal cars don't go fast. So we're going fast, and as he speeds up, there's like a, I, I don't know if it's a comp, like a harvester or something plowing the fields yeah. next to us. I no, it's the, the machine that spreads manure. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So as, it, as it's spreading it, we're going by, and then before oh, I know no. it, I'm like chilling like this in the car, and then suddenly just a fucking wave of manure starts hitting my face and goes <laughs> in the car, and it's launched into this Tesla. <laughs> and then he, everyone is doing that thing of like, oh, 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 oh God, oh God, oh. And then there's just shit everywhere <laughs> in his Tesla. And he just got it cleaned. Like a week and it's, it's like white seats as well. Yeah, it's, it's, white like seats. it's white seat Tesla. Oh, no. And the inside is pure white, absolutely like dickhead white. Oh like, my God. You should never have your interior this color for this reason. You know, and so there's just, oh God. And, and so the entire car journey, it just smells of cow shit. <laughs> It just absolutely reeks of cow shit. And he's freaking out because it's his parents' Tesla yeah. that he's borrowing it. And so he's like, he's like, oh, oh what am I gonna do? Oh, oh. It's like freaking out. Yeah. And I'm like, don't worry, we're gonna clean, we're gonna clean. He's like, oh my God, my parents are gonna kill me. And so, we so, get, so anyway, about that north to 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and there's, there's like, like chunks like this big of manure in the car. Yeah. And it's just it's and the smell is just everywhere. Oh my like god! So we go into the, we go into like a 
Pizza Express afterwards, and we mm. just stink of shit, and we're just eating pizza. <laughs> and then I think he goes to get it. They must have been so confused because, like, <laughs> the people working there is just like a bunch of dudes just smelling like shit eating pizza, and yeah. they're like, well, "Oh man, yeah. they fucking live like this." Meanwhile, they head back into their Tesla. <laughs> 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 like, so, what the fuck? <laughs> it was so, and then I think he got it cleaned like the next day or yeah. the day off because he was so angry. Yeah. Like, I have to get it cleaned. I have to get it cleaned. <laughs> so he got it cleaned. Yeah, because I remember him like. Him like building up that he was like, oh my God, my parents let me borrow the Tesla. I'm, guys, I'm driving the Tesla, yeah. I'm driving the Tesla. And it was just like this this massive event in our friend group that like Eugene's coming in a fucking Tesla. Damn. Day after Connor's like, guys, I got shit in Eugene's Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to country road. I'm the kind of guy, I don't know why, I don't know what, what, why people want to do this, but I, I just want to put my arm like this. Yeah, of course, of course. I, I get that, why. I get I that. <laughs> And so, yeah, then uh, obviously I couldn't have predicted that a bunch of manure is gonna fly in the car. <laughs> yeah. But it did. <laughs> oh that was a funny story. It was, I love that. I, I, I remember just like feeling bad for Eugene, but also laughing, very funny. laughing very, very hard. I, I was covered in shit, but it was so funny at his anger that his Tesla was covered in shit. Yeah. And it kind of canceled out me right. being covered in shit. It was, it was worth I it. wasn't too bothered about being covered in shit. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it wasn't like I was going to like a formal dinner or something. Right. Yeah, like yeah, Pizza yeah. Express and we get drunk. I, I was like, whatever. It's fine, I'll just clean it. I'll clean the clothes. Not, yeah. not the end of the world. Yeah, that's so but funny. Yeah, it was good. Um, I also, oh, recently I watched, yesterday, in fact, this is good timely, mm. I watched the new Doctor Strange movie. Oh, oh yeah. How, how is it? Very mid. <laughs> really? Is it actually? It's probably one of the most boring movies I've watched in a long time. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Because I Damn, heard, I heard I, like I'm, a lot of good things about it. I'm sad. I was really excited for it. I... Um, watch it, mm. make your own mind up. I also yeah. watched it in Dolby Atmos and I was way too close to the front <laughs> and I really regret it because some of that fucking sound effects. Yeah. There's this one sound effect in the start where like a, he summons like a saw and it, I swear to God, it nearly punctured my ear. <laughs> this this <laughs> saw sound. But yeah, no, it was weird. It was yeah. all over the place. I, the thing that I don't like about Doctor Strange, um, and I don't know if anyone else feels this way, mm. is yeah. that I don't know what the fuck his powers are, like, it's just like whatever he needs to do. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, uh, he's like, oh, yeah, gonna, he, does, he does the circle. I, thing, okay, right? I do a circle. Uh, and then now I summon a, uh, a monster. And now I summon a boat. And it's like, well, I don't know what the fuck your abilities are. Like, I, I, I don't know. No one has ever told, there is never a scene where he's learning these powers, yeah. like individual spells. I, I've always just How said- How does this work? I've always just said like, he, he's his power is kind of like the metronome move in Pokemon, you yeah. know, where it's just like, he just waggles his fingers and then yeah. something I happens, just, you just, know? It's like, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And the entire movie feels like when you're kids with, you know, when you're, when you're like eight years old mm -hmm. and you pretend like you have like a magic fight with your, your, your childhood friend, you're like, yeah. and I summon this, oh, oh, oh I, I do this, oh, I do this back. It, that's what it, the whole movie felt like. It was just it's that. It's not just a Jojo fight. Yeah. <laughs> but like at least Jojo, there's some tense to it. There's some intensity. Yeah. This entire fight was like, all right, well, of course he's gonna win. And then it's yeah. just this. And yeah. there's just so, there's just like, what, what the fuck is this movie? I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's so stupid. This yeah. entire movie was just like, all right, now this, all right, now this, and now this. And it's yeah. like, what is happening? Yeah, I heard from like like comic book fans that Doctor Strange is meant to be like one of the most powerful beings in yeah. like the Avengers or whatever. Right. And they've just like completely nerfed him in the MCU or something like that. Mm. Um, because I have no idea what the fuck his ability is apart from just like summoning uh, summoning the circle yeah. thing and summoning the teleport. It's just, ba I, basically, I, it's just Paul, right? I, I, maybe, <laughs> maybe the- <laughs> He just has yeah. a Paul yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe the <laughs> Maybe the character in the comics is interesting, but like yeah. I was so fucking bored in this movie. Oh, yeah. And I was like, and then halfway through that are they, cause it's the multiverse. Mm. And yeah. then they introduce other Marvel characters from other Marvel. And then it's supposed to be like, I guess just comic book boner moments where I'm just supposed mm. to be like impressed that uh, they fucking, included that scene. That, like yeah. a guy yeah. from the X Men turned up, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Why is I, I? I'm not impressed by this. Like, there's just a moment where like he'll come in, and then the music will play. The the stereotypical. Oh, it's a character you're supposed to know. Right, right. Dun, dun. <laughs> and then it's like, all right, cool. And now, and then he's dead. And then it's like, all right, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, fair. What is happening, dude? Listen. Well, is, is it because like you just haven't watched many MCU movies? I've since? watched a lot of them. I've watched right. a lot of them, and this was. The only one like I haven't watched was Eternals because I heard it was complete doo doo. Yeah, and uh, Captain Marvel I didn't watch because I heard it was really bad. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst ones I've. Well, watched. So you've watched every Marvel movie post Endgame as well. Post Endgame, what has there been? Just No Way Home. Uh, there's been No Way Home. There's been Black Widow. I've watched Black Widow. That was go god awful. 
Sang yeah, was okay. Sang Shi. Yeah, I, 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 I watched. Man, they've been taking the big L's. I feel these movies have been. I, I just feel like they are still building up. No like, Way Home was really good. No Way Home was fucking. But that great. was because I I, I kind of got what I wanted out of that. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I kind of expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah Spider Man yeah. movie and yeah. And yeah, I, I, I'm sad because like I'm not that hyped for any new Marvel movies coming out, and Doctor Strange was one of the few I was actually hyped yeah. about. I was really hyped about No Way Home, and that met that my good. that, that, was good. that yeah. met my expectations. Um, oh, oh okay. yeah. I I just felt that it was like. <laughs> I, I, you know when it, you you watch a movie and I wanted to watch it to give my thoughts, yeah. but at the same time I'm like, fuck, I didn't want to give them money, so they think that I want more of this. Right, I, yeah. I don't want more of this. <laughs> right, like I'd rather the vo- I don't know. Like I heard like Morbius was really really bad. I've heard that's really? I've heard that's the worst Marvel movie of like or anything Marvel related of well, all it's, time. It's like it's not Marvel, is it? It's um, it's Sony. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's that's not that's not MCU. So it's not exactly MCU. Yeah, but yeah, obviously yeah. Jared Leto is apparently really bad. I yeah. don't know. I maybe watch it and give me your thoughts because I'm really torn on it because there were some moments that I thought was really interesting and I mm, thought, yeah. okay, this is good, but the rest of the time I'm like, this just felt like a movie they wanted to make <clears> just because they were like, well, I guess we could get Benedict Cumberbatch to act himself out three times <laughs> and we could that could be fun and it's yeah. just like, all right, I, I, and uh, yeah and. I don't know. It was just really long-winded and boring. Mm, and I, yeah. I, the moment my popcorn ran out, I was kind of, I was kind of like out <laughs> kinda of it. Done. I was kind of like, kinda, I was like that was the final draw. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. well, there's no reason for me to be here now. Yeah. I went with Emily and Didus, and they were just laughing all the time as well at some of the some of the dialogue was so bad. Did they enjoy it? Uh, they thought it was really bad as well. Okay, okay. So they were enjoying it like ironically, I guess. Yeah, there was some lines of dialogue that yeah. was just like, "Who wrote this?" <laughs> like this was like completely absurd. Yeah. Like this is like a, a four-year-old wrote it. Yeah. I don't know. I, maybe you viewers, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you disagree with me. Let me know what you think. I haven't looked at any critical reviews of it, so I don't right. know what yeah. critics are saying, but I would give it a it's four. It's the 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and for me, it's a four out of 10. Yeah. I was very Is it the worst out. Marvel movie you've seen? No. What's the worst one you've seen? Thor 2 was pretty bad. Oh, that was pretty bad. That, just, that, really that just sounds bad from the name. Yeah. <laughs> like Thor 2 is pretty boring. Like I'm looking forward to the new Thor. Uh, yeah, that just, seems fun. That, that, Thor that seems fun. Yes, I'm, Thor, I'm, Thor I'm, 4. I'm, I'm Thor of, 4? Yeah, Thor 4. <laughs> Four. Do you have Marvel movie fatigue? I'm just like, I don't know. Just, Ma- just make Blade. Just make Blade and make it good. Like please. I, I definitely at this point. I, I definitely like. I definitely have Marvel movie fatigue in the sense where I'm just watching it just to like keep up. And yeah. there are like, I had few- Marvel. I had Marvel movie fatigue after like Iron Man two. I just like- feel like they're like fumbling right now. They're like, what are these movies? What are they making? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 don't I don't think. Know what the fuck they're trying to? Start I don't think up. they're fumbling. I just think once you end with Endgame and it's just like an end of like 10 years of build up. Right. It's just like, well, fuck, how do you, how do you like, how long is it gonna take to build up something that's going to be as exciting? Because right now I'm not even like invested in the characters as much as I was, you know, fucking Iron Man or Captain America or like the main, the, the main guys in like the previous generation. So it's like, who is going to be that you know that main uh, guy, yeah, yeah. and I thought it was going to be Doctor Strange. I, you know, I thought that was a possibility. Probably, probably will be I possibility. Mean, I don't know. I don't I'm know. Just, like I'm just a resident sleeper, dude. That yeah. entire. I kind of shut off the first hour. I was like really mm. bored. Yeah, I, I, like yeah. watching Shang Chi was cool, but I'm just like I'm watching like a Wuxia movie, and then yeah. you have like you're barely relating this to the MCU somehow. Whatever. Mm. I'm not really like I don't really care about that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm here for the cool cool fights. Well, I was watching um, uh, your movie sucks. And mm-hmm. uh, he was doing his review of all the like films of the year or the Oscars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like seventy percent of them, he was like, "I didn't finish it. It was shit." Right. And right, right. A lot of people got angry because they were like, "Oh, how can you review a film if you didn't finish it?" Yeah. Mm. But I was like, "I, I mean, surely if you can't finish a film, that says that says something <laughs> more than anything." Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, yeah. It's it's like how critical do you want to be? Right. It's it's more like yeah, you can say you really didn't fucking like a movie and not yeah. finish it because I've done that plenty of times with yeah. anime, mm. you know. But if you want me to like properly critique it. Then yeah. there's only so much I can critique without seeing all of it because I didn't see all of it. Mm. You know, it's 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 a nuanced argument, but I think you should very much be allowed to say, yeah, I thought something sucked, <laughs> and uh, because I didn't finish it. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. I you know. Know, yeah, I, f- I feel like 
if I was watching that many movies as well, I wouldn't be inclined. Yeah, yeah you got to start like, you know, using your time wisely, right? Like you yeah, don't want right. to waste your time on something that you think is just going to be like, your, your opinion is not going to change on it regardless no. if you yeah. finish it or not. You right. know the best TV show that I've watched that came out recently? What? Severance. Yeah, dude. I watched that too. Dude, what? Yeah, oh my fuck? God. Yeah, Cause so I was gonna, weird, I was gonna talk about some good shit that I've watched recently. <laughs> Severance <laughs> is probably one of the, be the most interesting and, and best TV shows I've watched in a long time. Sell, yeah. it, sell it to me. All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a bad version, then Gong can do the good version. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the plot of this world is that uh, there is a procedure that you can get that'll split your mind into two. So okay. you have two consciousness, one that goes to work and one that does everything not work. Right, right. So essentially there'll, there'll be two characters in the same body, mm -hmm. one that, and, and they don't have any memories of the other. Oh, okay, okay. So the person in work, <clears throat> only existence is work and yeah. they don't know anything else. Right. And the person outside of work, only has outside of work and doesn't mm. know anything mm. else. And so it, it's kind of really interesting because it's dealing with, all right, well, if you only worked all the time, you would probably get miserable and mm. want to not work all the time. So then they're trying to, there's kind of like really interesting side plots of when they're trying to f figure out what their outside person is doing. And then the in outside person trying to figure out what the inside person's oh, cool. doing. And the company they work at is really mysterious. We don't really know what they do. Uh -huh. And so it's kind of like, and it's very, very creepy. And uh, cool. it's really interesting. You should watch it. So yeah. what's, really what's the good, good version? Uh, that was actually pretty good. Uh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> he I'll, did it. You I'll, I'll, I'll do. Try I'll, to sell extra. Fluff yeah. it up. I'll do the. I'll, I'll do the bad version. I guess. Okay. Uh, imagine Black Mirror was good again. <laughs> that's that's. Uh, but but they had a good premise and they ran with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. It it because like I watched the season it, and it felt very Black Mirror esque. Or, so but good. like mm. when Black Mirror had very interesting ideas and yeah. you know, it wasn't like fucking just. Like, like going to like Hannah the Montana. bottom of the barrel being like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can make a fucking episode about this. Yeah. But like, it, it has like a very interesting concept as oh, kind of cool. just said, and they like run with it and they explore every single facet that, you know, I wanted to explore out of it lately. Definitely bring out like the ethical aspect about yeah. it as well. Of just like, is, you know, if you separate your memories, is that person essentially a new person or is it just still you? You know what I mean? Because, you know, in a certain, in a certain argument, they are both the same person because you come from the same personality. Yeah, you know, yeah. you just you just don't share the memories of working and the life outside of work. But right. if you separate the memories, does that mean that's like two separate yeah. people that are living oh. in one body as well? Chris Chris really liked it too. I've Chris funny enough yeah. watched it. It's on Apple TV though, which- Well, if yeah. Chris watched it, it must be a masterpiece. Oh, Chris really liked it too. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Everyone I know- No, that sounds it. really cool though. Literally everyone I know who watched it really enjoyed it. It definitely sounds like a show I would like. Yeah, yeah and you, no, no one's talking about it because it's on Apple TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, like, like the only reason that I was able to watch it was because we were luckily provided iPads by Geeks Plus right, to use right, for right. work. And I'm just like, great, I have a device to watch it on now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, because I couldn't do that before. Um, oh, cool. I pretty much just saw an article where they were like, Apple TV has some really interesting shows. And it right. came up and I thought, oh, that looks really good. Yeah. And then the reviews were insane. Mm. Yeah. And I thought, wow, okay. And yeah, honestly, I really hope it doesn't, uh, it doesn't like mess up the landing because season yeah. one, was really, really good. Season one's really, really, really good. good and holy fuck, did that they end on oh, a cliffhanger. Boy. God fucking damn it. Oh, the, but like, that's also scary, right? Cause people were saying the same thing about Black Mirror as well. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, damn season one though. Hope yeah. they stick the landing. <laughs> yeah, I think Black Mirror is basically not gonna continue cause it's in like legal uh, battles for like ownership. Oh really? Right? Yeah, it's in like legal trouble. Oh shit. I think, yeah. um, when they sold the rights, it, it, something was iffy mm -hmm. and uh, there's arguments over who owns the rights to Black Mirror. So I think pretty much Black Mirror is dead. Damn. Yeah. I think. Well, I, I, um, I, that doesn't sadden me too much because they were definitely like- Running uh, out of ideas. They were definitely I'm, I'm running glad, yeah. out of ideas. So Some, something scratched that itch though. And it was the show. So yeah, I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad yeah. it was something oh, yeah, that's good. That's kind good. of yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did that. Yeah, because cool. yeah, with, with Black Mirror, I remember like season one and season two being fucking incredible. Yeah. And then season three was just like, okay, there are some really good episodes. Yep. And then some are just like really weird episodes. Mm. And then season four onwards was just like, you are, you know, why are you putting Miley Cyrus in this? They're, they're <laughs> that, that season, I didn't even oh, get to that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season yeah. five was even, even worse, Jesus. I, I didn't even watch season five, no. Sucked. Yeah, so I mean, there's only like so many ideas you can come up with, mm -hmm. with it being like an anthology of different ideas. But Severance, fucking great, because it's just one idea, just explored to the fullest. Uh, very happy. Um, such, such good acting as well. Yeah. The acting yeah. is so good. Like, all these characters are so creepy. Yeah. And, like, believable. 
It was oh, so cool. Yeah. yeah, it was perfectly casted as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely check it out before, yeah, yeah. before it gets too hype. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you won't watch yeah, it. Yeah, then I won't watch it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if another person starts talking about it, I'll be like, no, no, no. Currently, no one is talking. I literally yeah. don't know anyone who's talking. I never see anyone talk about it. So, mm. uh, yeah, if you yeah. want a really interesting I'm going to watch it then before this <laughs> yeah, episode yeah, goes yeah, yeah, live yeah. in a couple of days. Yeah, I guarantee yeah, yeah, yeah. If you watch one episode, you'll be hooked. It's one of those shows where it starts so strong and it's really interesting. Sure, sure. Yeah, watch it if you if you can. Uh, it's really interesting. Mm. Uh, actually, like, yeah, amazing. amazing cool. yeah. Speaking about something that everyone seems to be talking about now that I hang out spy with, X fucking family. Spy Family. Oh my God. You, you fucking, I, I didn't know how big it had gotten here. In the UK, even like people who barely watch anime, they're like, yo, are you watching Spy Family? Or really? Spy, oh spy X Family? I'm like, Fuck. oh my God. I, every, pronounce, every... I pronounce the X because <laughs> I'm a chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced Spike's Family. <laughs> Spike's Family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've just seen an anime just blow up this mm. quickly, I guess. Cause I, I mean, like right from the get go, it was like fucking solid. Though. I mean, the manga yeah. was insanely popular in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was, I think it was good. I was, but like, I was, I remember I was so scared cause I've, I've been like a fan of the manga for ages now. And when I was like, when I was, you know, about to watch the first episode, I was like, please, please let it be good. Please yeah. don't fuck this up. Yeah. And thank God they didn't. Right. Yeah. But like, I wasn't expect. yeah, as, as you were saying, like I was not expecting it to be like the talk of the town essentially. Yeah, cause I expect, because I just feel like, holy fuck, Shonen Jump are just on a different level right now in yeah. terms of, in terms of like making mega hitters, because it feels like, it feels like when Shonen Jump release a new anime, it's like Shonen Jump, and then every other anime. True, pretty much. Because because it, like, it, it doesn't even feel like you're talking to a anime fan if they say they watch Shonen Jump stuff because mm. everyone's watching Shonen Jump stuff. Just you know imagine what I mean? if we got a good Berserk adaptation. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. But like even even Sash. so, I, I, I even don't think it would be as popular as like Spy Spike's Family or Demon no, Slayer no, or something like that. You know, I think the only the only other the only IP that can really stand up to Shonen Jump IPs is like Attack on Titan. And that's yeah. like that's like the outlier, you know, yeah. because Which is just a different Shonen magazine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Final season part one deluxe edition. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, it's just I, I haven't read the manga of mm. Spike's Family. It's just a really, really good show. I'd, yeah, like it. I haven't watched it yet. I've been saving it because I want to binge it all for like one big serotonin boost. Yeah, yeah. It's really solid. Yeah. Like it's, even from a manga read, it's really, really solid yeah. adaptation. It's, it's yeah. just like, it's there's, there's nothing I can really say about it other than it's just a good show from like a good manga with a fucking amazing adaptation. Mm -hmm. um, like they nailed Anya, like, like as a character, we're, like, we're gonna be seeing reaction images of her for the next like four months. I know, least. right? I know. She's every, so- Every Twitter. Oh my God, she's so- Fucking adorable. Yeah. Like she will single-handedly save Japan's like fucking aging population, man. <laughs> Depression yeah. been mad quiet <laughs> since, <laughs> since Anya came out. Like the Japanese population that aren't having enough babies. <laughs> One Anya. You can have this. You can have this, this right now. Have, okay? This is what you're missing out on. <laughs> yeah, like, cause like that was the only thing I was worried about was like, you know, because the dialogue is what made Spy Family so fucking good in the yeah. manga. Yeah. So I was like, if they nail the voice acting and the casting, this is gonna be huge. And they fucking nailed the casting. Like, yeah. At least, especially the Japanese one. Like the voice for Anya is like perfect. Yeah, like the, what I think was the big thing that really makes it stand out is the cast really nailed the chemistry between the mom, dad, and the daughter. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. obviously Anya gets all the, uh, all the spotlight, but just the dynamic, um, seeing the dynamic play out between, you know, if, if you don't know the premise of Spike's family, it's a family that has a spy in it, an assassin in it, and Anya, who is who Can is a read kid minds. that has yeah, yeah, yeah. telepathy, yeah. right? It's it's a it's a really really weird mix of people, but they nail this family dynamic perfectly because mm. I, I remember just like it's equal parts funny and wholesome as well. Yeah. Like I remember seeing like- It's the, like an Iyashi K that's actually funny. A little bit of every, everything. For a, little bit of everything. a little bit of everything. A little, a little sprinkle of everything. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of everything. Cause I remember like, uh, I remember coming back from, uh, coming back from the wedding uh, like last weekend. And I remember, oh, the newest episode of Spy, Spike's Family just came out and I mm. watched it and I just thought I was already like high up in positive vibes and <laughs> Spike's Family 
like gave me such wholesome vibes that I almost fucking cried. Just cause I'm like, <laughs> just cause of how like fucking happy I felt, man. I, I love how you're just like, <laughs> fuck the wedding. The new Spy Family episode just came out, dog. <laughs> that's where my happiness that's is right now. Shit. Yeah, that's the real I shit. I never thought I could like burst full of wholesome, God, God wholesomeness and happiness, like this, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, like, yeah, shit, happy for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, hold on, Sydney, hold on. Before, before you say your vows. All right, I'm ready now, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Opens wall. It's just a picture of Vanya. It's like, that's yeah, what I'm fighting for. That's what I'm fighting for right yeah. now. Are you watching the anime of Spy X Family or are you just like- No, no, no. I am actually manga? watching it because like, yeah. Cause like I watched the first episode and I was like, oh shit, this is like actually a fucking amazing adaptation. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I am watching it. I'm not caught up to the latest, latest episode, but um, yeah. yeah, I'm like watching it kind of on and off. And uh, yeah, it's fucking great. I can see why people are hyped about it. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But like, you know, you were saying that like, oh yeah, Anya's like the new favorite, but like, I don't know, man, I've seen a lot of fucking your I yeah. have pictures I have, I and have, it's like, yeah, oh my I God. I, I, I know which character you're talking about. I don't even know what that name is. You said yeah. the name, but your, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm guessing it's the woman. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, oh my God, first time in, God knows how many years where wife of the season is not a high schooler. Yeah. So thank know, God. Right? Well it's, done. It's, it's, it's I, a mother. It's a it's milf. It's a mother. It's a milf. It's actually a milf. Thank you. <laughs> well done guys. Yeah. I guess I'll have to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was, it's so weird just because obviously I expected it to be popular. I didn't expect it to be this popular this quickly. Even Demon Slayer took like 18 episodes yeah. to really burst in Spy popularity. Family just literally took like two. Be yeah. just to see if it uh, sticks around for the entire run. I think it will. I would be very surprised yeah, yeah. if yeah. it's only one season. Cause like the manga is doing like insane numbers right now as well. Yeah, I, I saw like the the manga sales of like the last the last month in Japan and it's like number one, number two, number three, number four, yeah. number five, so all volumes of Spikes family. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it always is with the anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah anime right. comes out, all right, the manga gets a giant boost in sales. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause people want to read the manga. Yeah, exactly. so I'm, I'm like, man, Shonen Jump just can't miss right now. Cause this, I didn't even think Spikes family was going to the, was going to be the big show that they released yeah. this year. I thought it was going to be Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man. Man. Yeah. And then when is that coming out? That's coming I mean, out this year as well. No, I think it's the summer. I think. Okay. The summer I, I, of next, I feel, next like, I feel season, like that's I been like everyone's like, I'm so hyped for that. And I was like, Yeah, weren't we hyped like a year ago? Was, <laughs> what's going on with it? Dude, Fujimoto's released like three one shots in that span. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Which you fucking need to read. Okay. Yeah. Right. He he brought out like a. I, I recently read like a a, a one shot uh, called Goodbye Airy. Right. Okay. By him, and it's like it's fucking amazing. It's like Probably. probably one of the best one shots I've ever read. Like Fair the enough. dude manages to like, like basically give the plot of like a movie's worth of plot Good in man. like 200 pages. Oh wow. And it's fucking incredible. Like, yeah, I read it the other day. Cause like Twitch chat was like, have you read it? Have you read it yet? Have you read it yet? And so I was like, and you can read it for free as well. Oh. On the uh, on the Jump Plus, uh, app. I'm making it sound like an ad. I'm not uh, even paid for this thanks shit. You, thanks, yeah. Yeah. thanks, you Asia. I'll wait for my I mean, ride. I do so they I need I... us to shout them out to know that Shonen no, Jump no, exists? Nah. What do you mean? Dude, Jump Plus is on another fucking level. It's right like being now, like, though. yeah, I've, uh, I've uh, shout out to Disney, by the way. <laughs> I'm um, loving hey. the stuff you're doing with Marvel or yeah, whatever. Waiting world. for the royalties soon, Disney. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Walt, I'm getting, I'm waiting for your call, Walt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, cause like even Dis, like Disney now have also come into like the anime race, you know, yep. fucking, um, they, they've picked up one of the best seasonal animes, I think uh, air, is airing the season, which is mm. like Summertime Brenda, which uh, no one can really watch right now because- yeah. It's on Disney Plus? It's on Disney, it's on Disney Plus. Disney Plus. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, it's on yeah. Disney Plus. And it's a Disney oh. Plus exclusive, Yeah, but they're not like releasing Back it. in my yeah. day, all <laughs> the anime was on one platform. <laughs> <laughs> you know that um, one more anime that was aired like a couple of seasons back is in Disney Plus as well. What? Kushoku Tensei. Is it actually? Yeah. Fuck. I see ads on, on like Facebook, like everyone's like, Mushoku Tensei on Disney Plus. Fuck. That's so weird. What a weird timeline we're living in where Bro, like, Disney is like, you have, your kids ever heard of anime before? <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. It's so surreal to think that it's gotten to this point where now Disney is getting involved in the anime arms race. I thought they just like, they they, they had that thing with Ghibli, you know? I, I never thought they cared <laughs> about like anything else. Yeah, like Ghibli. I always thought like it, Disney's like idea of anime was just like, Princess Mononoke. Yeah. That's a movie. Yeah. Is it anyway. Made, is it made by Hayao Miyazaki? Yeah, oh yeah. no. Okay. Um, nope. I guess it just, it doesn't exist. Doesn't then. exist. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I saw you finally completed Elden Ring as well. Yeah, Elden Ring was very fun. How was that? Great game. When are you gonna play it? When I- When I have free time. When I <laughs> have time to invest on being addicted to something. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Elden Ring's amazing. Yeah, cause I, I saw you playing it and I'm like, God, 
fucking down. It looks so fun, but I it know is. it's really fun. But like, <laughs> like I don't like. I know as soon as I start Elden Ring, it's just gonna be like when I start Breath of the Wild again. Yeah. Where like, goodbye productivity. Yeah. Goodbye productivity. Goodbye free time because I am doing nothing but playing this game. How many yeah. hours did you sink into it? Six, nearly seventy, I think. Okay, that's not mm. too bad. On my first playthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's really, really fun. I, I got to say, it's probably one of the best games I've played ever. Because I know people who like sank like two hundred hours and still oh, yeah, well, I still yeah. haven't beaten it. Well, because yeah, I mean, I like to play games on stream, and I don't, I don't really want to right now. I don't want to keep playing it on stream. Yeah, I'm yeah. Streamed a shit ton, but like I could easily, you know, do multiple playthroughs and enjoy every mm. second of it. There's yeah, so yeah. I, I, need, I didn't, I didn't even see all of it. I missed so much stuff. Mm. Yeah, because it's you know it's open world, so there's yeah. just so yeah. much to do. Um, but yeah, honestly, really, really amazing game. So many cool fights, really fun, really satisfying. One of the best game designs, just hands down. The world, oh my God, dude. Like the world building in that game, mm. it's just like second to none. Just never seen a world built like what that. What do you mean? Like, I've never heard you talk about world building before. <laughs> I <laughs> never can. I, 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 I'm just like, I've literally Connor, never, what? It I've must literally, be fucking- you know, you know something's up when Mr. Game Mechanics over here is like world building though. <laughs> I've, never, I've never cared. But the fact that they build so many cool set pieces, uh, yeah, like just these giant areas that you go to once and you're like, how much like hours did they sink in building this? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And you're there for like 10 minutes. You're yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Or this one boss fight and they built this whole giant thing leading up to the boss fight. It's like, what? what the like, oh my God, like just, just some of the areas, you're like, this is so cool and creative. Mm. How yeah. the fuck did you come up with this? Yeah, Zaki, man, he's, he's built It's different. insane. It's insane. Like yeah. the whole, like, I've never cared about like how a game like world looks. Cause it's like, okay, you go into a place, the boss arena, you leave. No, like every single aspect of this world is just so cool and yeah. tells an interesting story. And yeah. it, it's honestly such a good game. Yeah, really, one really one thing that's really like surprised me about uh, what I've seen people talking about, about Elden Ring is like how, like how friendly it is to beginners. And oh yeah, how you can do whatever you need is. to do. Yeah, because mm. I, I feel like because it's open world and because there are so many options, you know, in previous Souls games, you know, you get to like a hard boss or something or yeah. you get to like this one point and you know, people who, we're not as you know we're you know we're not as pro gamer or whatever you know like there's one, like a hard skill cap right? yeah there is a hard yeah. skill cap where they could do nothing aside from you know try to beat this boss and if they yeah. couldn't beat this boss then you know i guess they just give up or they just mm. do something else but because elden ring is open world there yeah. is just so much more opportunity like if they if they find a hard boss and they can try doing something else, they can grind up a bit or, you know, I've heard that there are many different builds and many yeah. different like variations to um to whatever what type of play style you want to do as well. And mm. some are like definitely easier than others. Oh, some are completely busted. Right. Um, What's like the busted ones then? It's the blood one. There's like a bleed mechanic in the game with certain swords that like cause them to bleed and does percent damage. Mm. Wow. So percent damage on bosses you can imagine is quite yeah. big. Yeah. And some swords can apply it very, very quickly. Damn. So you can just chunk through bosses in seconds with some builds, right? And other builds not so much. Yeah, but like I, you know, I went, I like <clears throat> messed around in the hard area a bunch, and then I went to the easy area where I, was, I think I was supposed to go. Yeah, because you can do whatever you want, really. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then I like absolutely steamrolled this area, like mm. like two shotting bosses and stuff. Yeah, because <laughs> I was like, I've gone messed around in the really hard area that I shouldn't have been in. But you know, I, that's the way I, I enjoyed playing the game. It was really fun. Yeah. Uh, and then it got really difficult towards the end, but that was really fun as well because yeah. I, I was kind of over leveled a little bit, and so it was really fun. Yeah, I just I had a really great time. All, there's not many boss fights that I thought were bad. All of the main bosses were sick. Mm. Right. So fucking cool, dude. Yeah. Such cool bosses. Just a fun time. Really fun time streaming it as well. Mm. Would you say it's as difficult as people make it out to be? It's just, again, it's as difficult as you want it to be. Yeah. You know, that you can summon spirits and stuff. So like things that come in the fight for you. And that helps a lot because it just takes aggro. Yeah. Like mm. the boss will stop hitting you and hit something else. So right, then that's right, like, right, right. that's more useful than them doing damage. Like, yeah, yeah. But some of them do damage as well, like a lot. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's great. What, like play it. It's fun. It's really, really fun. Yeah, I, 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 I will definitely to find the time to do it. As I, I, I'll, I'll be, I want there to be, I, I, I hope there's a, game that can get game of the year over this game. Cause I'm, I, I that would be that. incredible. If I don't was, know how that would happen. <laughs> if there was a game of the I year. I hate being that guy. I was like, it's game of the year. But like, I, I don't know. I what. don't know, man. Have you played the new Kirby game though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what could- It's pretty fucking poor. In, in my mind, I'm like, I don't know what could top this. 
this yeah. year for like a gaming experience that is collectively agreed upon to be like an amazing. Uh, I mean, I, I'd be shocked. I'd if be it shocked. I'd be very game. shocked yeah. as well. I'd welcome it. I'd send these more games for me. I mean, yeah. I haven't even um, played in a regular. The only other game that's probably better than it is Metal Gear Rise Revengeance, yeah. uh, <laughs> which Gear I played. <laughs> played. It was fun. That was great. That's I mean, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm just so happy that Revengeance memes have come back. You played it? I haven't. I haven't played it. I, play I, it but I feel like I've experienced like. 90% of it just through memes itself. Bro, it's so good. I played it. I did it on stream and uh, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. What a fun game. Cutscenes were as amazing as you Armstrong think is like one of my favorite video game characters of all yeah. time. Yeah. Like how how did how did the Japanese portray America better than like most Americans? Yeah. Most American games, right? <laughs> it's so good. So good. It's just like it's so cool seeing a game that just it just goes beyond time. Like yeah. it's so yeah. impactful that it doesn't matter how old it is. I, th I think one thing that really impressed me with like seeing people play Metal Gear Revengeance is just like the music is just fucking insane. Dude, it's, it's so good. It's not just insane, but like it, it kind of matches up with like the scene or like the level that you're playing as yeah, well. Yeah. It's just like the amount of like that, that's that's what sells Revengeance to me because I love anime, like Fooly Cooly, that makes it feel like you're watching a, like a music video or something mm. as, as you're watching the anime. But like Revengeance feels like you're playing a music video yeah. as like you're you're going along. And that's, that's the biggest selling point for me with with revenge it's just so good yeah. yeah it's such a fun game and yeah. like the mechanics are so tight and the cutscenes are just hilarious because <laughs> it's so overly political yeah it's yeah. so funny <laughs> yeah. but also it's like some things he says you're like oh wow <laughs> so kind of a little on the nose <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then obviously all the memes that came out of it are so good yeah, yeah. if you haven't yeah. played the game again i recommend it how it's long did it take you to complete I played it on hard and I kind of regret it because I felt like there's just so many very hard moments because mm. I, I wasn't very good at the game. It's because it's very fast. Yeah. Um, I think the medium is probably the best way to enjoy the game initially. And it'd be like, it'd be like five hours, but it's gonna be like 10 hours because okay. I was like okay. playing on hard and failing on bosses all the fucking time. Yeah. So hard. Did you like play uh, play in one sitting on stream? Yeah, one sitting, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And the, the last fight is so worth it. <laughs> Because the the Armstrong is just such a fun fight. And it's crazy, dude. And the button meshing. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's so One way good. it's just like fucking standing there. You're yeah, just like <laughs> nano machines. Yeah. I feel like I'm part of the meme experience now. That's why I, I I played it before, but I'd gotten halfway and I quit because right. uh, I got stuck. Because it's really, it's a hard game. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Some of the boss fights are fucking hard. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, to play on uh, normal if you want to chill time or yeah. more easy, even like you. Want, no, you want I, I definitely want to play it. Yeah. yeah, you can do it in five hours. Yeah, okay. So yeah. like, it's and, like one stream, and yeah. it, and two hours is cutscenes. Oh, oh yeah. brilliant, yeah. brilliant! So it's my favorite. Yeah, it's literally. Like, I mean, it is a Kojima game. Yeah, yeah right? you know, of it's course. So good, it's so good. If you haven't played it, go and watch it. You've probably watched all the the incorrect telling of and all that where yeah, the names yeah, yeah. come from and that I made it the fuck up and yeah, making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Yeah. I love. I that. fucking love that line. That's so my good. favorite line. It's so good. It's so good. Such a good game. Fuck. What yeah, because like I, I feel like I would game more. Like there's one console I really, really fucking want, and it's the. Steam Deck. You're on the yeah. Steam Deck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause like <sighs> so many times, I'm just not in- a fun game to play on the Steam Deck actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I know it's, it's, it's less about just mm. the Steam Deck itself. And it's more of, there's so many games I just want to play on the go. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because, because like, especially now we're traveling so much yeah. and you know, I, I don't stream as often as you guys, you know, mm. there's, there's, less, there's less time where I like sit down in front of the PC or on a couch uh, and I game, you know? Yeah. But if, if there was like, that, that's why like the console I game the most on is probably like whenever I play a Switch game because it's yeah. just mm. so easy to just pick up whenever I need to play it and just continue it uh, at my own convenience. And like, I was always looking for a console to play the more intensive games on yeah. uh, mm. while also going on the go and like the Steam Deck seems perfect for that, but my God, is it like impossible to get right now? Yeah, the like, waiting list for that is, uh, is some like- people, Some people have got it. I'm like, how the fuck did you get it? Who's yeah, yeah. You sell your blood to? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I've seen like the prices on eBay and then oh like twice God. to triple the price. Um, and the waiting list I think right now is like a few months. So it's not too bad. Only a few months. Like, that's, that's, I, I say that's not too bad because I know like the people who got like the first shipping of it, they had to like sign up a year plus before I believe. Fucking so, I've, heard, I've heard mixed things about it. There's some good things and bad things, but overall I think uh, I, I think it's good. Yeah. What I've seen. What's the mixed things you've heard about it? 
Uh, I think I saw that the oh, some games it struggles with. I can't remember what I saw. I remember there was some downsides. I can't right. remember though. I watched it weeks ago. I watched these videos. Right. I remember it wasn't perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, when, when is it? When is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah as I, like, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not like, uh, you know, I, I don't really care about the frame rates or like the yeah. you know, FPS or whatever too much. No, I just want a competent gaming experience on the go for some games that I would normally play on the PC or yeah. somewhere yeah. else. And that seems that's all I really want from the Steam Deck. And that seems like the perfect console yeah. to what I need right now. Game so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. Damn. What are you playing now, Joey? How's Kirby? You I, mean, the, I mean, I haven't done the post game stuff yet. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I've just kind of been like, fucking around just trying to play a bunch of stuff. I started playing uh, Kaizo Emerald, which is like one of the oh, hardest yeah, yeah, Pokemon that. mods. Oh, that, okay. that mod is hard as shit. It is so, it took me six hours to beat the first gym. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> as shit. Well, why is it hard? What's because not only is like, well, first of all, every trainer is unavoidable. Yeah. So you have to fight every trainer okay. and every trainer is optimized. Mm -hmm. So literally every trainer fight is like fighting a professional Pokemon player. Wow. So like the moves are optimized oh. and like all the IVs are optimized oh. and everything. <laughs> and you're basically just going against that. Jesus Christ. And it's 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 intense as fuck. Have yeah. you seen those people beating uh, the Pokemon games with level one Pokemon? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It'll be, yeah they, they like how small, is that, like how small is that possible? Stuff, right? yeah. yeah, well, they're like, cause you swap out poison substitute they see all the moves oh, that make okay. you rage. Yeah. You ever, like, you're like, I'll try and play Pokemon competitively. You play and then someone's just like, substitute, they make poison spikes, yes. reflect. And he's like, <laughs> stop, let me hit it. Let me hit your Pokemon. Literally, <laughs> literally I knew it was bad because for one, like the first rival fight, yeah. it just spammed sand attack like seven oh, times. No, no. And that then it so just annoying. slowly drained my Pokemon to the point where I lost the first battle. I was oh like, my God. this isn't gonna go well <laughs> at all. <laughs> Oh fuck! I want to do more Pokemon runs. The Pokemon yeah. runs are so fun. That that's like so. I'm probably gonna continue that because that's just like you know, as like a long time Pokemon game. I'm like, this is the first time where I'm like, finally, a Pokemon game is actually a challenge. <laughs> oh, wow. Finally, a worthy opponent. Finally, a worthy opponent. Like yeah. you thought, you thought Nuzlocks were hard. Like yeah. this game is like fucking hard. Yeah. So, so what's so the base recommend. game that it mods? Uh, Pokemon Emerald. Emerald. Think, okay. it's, all the mods are on like Emerald, right? Weirdly. It's usually like third gen. Yeah. Like I usually why. Emerald I th or I don't know. Maybe it's because it's like. Easy uh, fan favorite or like, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's a solid yeah, game. Yeah. 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 But there's also a lot of mods for, you know, like, you know, gen four and stuff like that oh, as there's well. There's tons of mods for like Breath of the Wild and stuff. I don't know how oh, they yeah. do it. I mean, it sounds yeah. cool though. I, I really mean, want like, to play like mods for like Breath of the Wild, oh, like Switch yeah, games, yeah, but yeah. I'm also scared to fuck my Switch up. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> well, Breath of the Wild is one of the games where you can definitely see that being like a mod's hev mod is heaven, you know? Oh yeah, Because yeah, you yeah. have so much freedom in that game as it is. In the base game, you know, I can't imagine how it would be if I've it was seen like- I've seen so many cool like mod videos yeah, of that. Like, everything's Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like everyone's the Among Us. <laughs> I like it, I just like it. I don't know, I like it's like the one, the <laughs> fucking, uh, the Point Crow video yeah, where like when yeah, you say yeah. Shrek, it summons sh 10 Shreks into the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, saw, I saw that one. <laughs> Which is the so dumbest fun. video, but it was so fun <laughs> to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Like when is Among Us gonna die? When am, when am I gonna <laughs> stop? When am I gonna stop finding Among Us memes funny? Cause I thought Never. I would like, yeah. I, I feel like they've gotten funnier. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's because why. they're, they're starting to become ironic. That's why. Yeah, yeah. the Among Us VR. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I was gonna yeah, say, yeah. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> it looks fun. That genuinely looks good. That might be like a game I can I, I, finally I just, finally get VR. I just can't wait for the clips of like Xbox mics and someone's like this with their Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you fucking- It was this guy. <laughs> it's, I can't wait. It, I, I, can't, I can't wait to see the credit card. On, on VR, you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hyped for it, dude. It actually looked awesome. Yeah, it actually yeah, looks yeah. fun. Icon, yeah. I can't wait for it, dude. I'm so yeah, hyped. I'm hoping like they do like include the voice chat within the Among Us oh, game this time. Yeah, proximity chat, that'd yeah, be awesome. That'd be fun. Cause I can't imagine like having to like log into Discord in yeah, VR and yeah, like having to like yeah, log it's out. It's gonna have to be proximity chat. Yeah, I yeah, think. yeah. I also, it would be also perfect if like you did it on the omnidirectional uh, like, Moving pad as well, oh. so you like oh, literally yeah. have to like run through the halls and <laughs> That'd shit. Be so That'd be dude. so fun. I, I really want to own this. Yeah. But it just seems impractical. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. When's that coming out? Because I saw the trailer. No idea. They didn't have a release date, which normally means whenever the fuck they finish it, which uh, is probably a while. Which yeah. could be next year. Dude, for I, you know. Yeah, they, they should. They, I hope they charge for it because I want it to. I hope worth their time. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it feels like this has this 
because they completely just remade the game, right? So they've bas basically just built a new game, essentially, from the ground up. Basically, because yeah. I don't think they could have used anything <laughs> from their previous uh, previous game, oh. which was originally a mobile game, yeah. to going full on VR. So hard. yeah, I'm I'm very excited Crazy. to try it out. Might finally be able to like dust off the vi uh, no, not the Vive, the Valve, Valve, which yeah. I've, Valve Index, which yeah. I've never. Been I still used. use mine. It's pretty good. VR chat's pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, just such a such a hassle to set up. You yeah, know? I kind of wish I got the Oculus or whatever, yeah. which because that just seems so much more convenient mm. than like you know I, I, I get you get more freedom with the index and everything, and it's like higher resolution. But just, I still haven't streamed on the my Oculus I've, though, just because I'm like dreading to set it up. Yeah, I optimize the index because I have the things permanently up there. So yeah, it's yeah, super yeah. easy. Oh, okay. I literally just plug in the headset, open up Steam, and I'm I'm literally. Oh. doing it. So it's it's super painless for me. Even then I still get tired doing it. I get exhausted. Yeah. After like three, four hours of like running around in VR, I'm like, I'm like spent. I'm like- I'm surprised you can even spend that long. Like yeah. I can't I can't go more than like two hours. Yeah. I, I, I get really in any exhausted. game, yeah. It's yeah, well- great. It's really good. It's VR like, chat is so good. Uh, like yeah. the mods on it and the games in VR chat is so good. Mm. You, you're hard out, Zuckerberg. <laughs> the his powers fist. with the people, Zuck. <laughs> Don't you understand? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, uh, I guess this is uh, this is going to be. I guess we have a bunch of guests coming on. The next yeah, episodes, yeah, yeah. Right. So this is going to be the last boys episode for a while. for for a while. Which I'm sure people are happy about because we've had like the longest period of no guests. Yeah. And I feel like you can tell because people yeah. are like, "What are they? What When's, are they the next When's the guest? next guest?" <laughs> to be fair, yeah. it's, it's it's our bad. I mean, it's been hard because you know guests have been limited because. You know, Japan has uh We can't be like, let's invite Chris on a fucking 10th time. Yeah, you know? exactly. We could have, we wanted to, we could have invited back more guests. We thought, oh, we kind of just want to try and- Keep, well, keep through, it yeah. trying yeah. fresh. Yeah, keep it, keep uh, it fresh. Obviously yeah. Chris is a fourth member though. On yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Basically. Chris point. is Chris yeah. welcome back on anytime. Yeah. Basically but, whenever he's in Tokyo, he comes on. Yeah, so hopefully if you guys want more guest episodes, you'll be getting a lot coming yeah. soon. Yep. Now a that the world is opening up, yeah, it's kind of like lot. the floodgates uh, now yeah. open. I'm sure, I'm sure. I. I, I can't wait for the, what are the boys gonna just go back to the three of them? Cause we're probably gonna have a lot of guest episodes <laughs> yeah. in a row. Yeah. So I, I'm, I know people are gonna say that. Cause yeah. people, people do like the, not that people don't like the non-guest episodes. Yeah. People do actually really like them. I know a lot of people say that they're their favorites. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a lot of guests and then we'll try and sprinkle in ours uh, between. Yeah. Uh, it'd be yeah. interesting to see how people like it. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a new kind of trash taste, I think. Yeah. It's yeah, uh, yeah. trash. I, 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 Season three. <laughs> I guess it kind of is season kind three. Of is season three. Um, yeah, it's going to feel a bit different. Uh, we're not going to spoil what it is, but yeah, it's trash taste is going to feel a little different for yeah. a time. So look forward to that. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. Hey, look at these patrons though. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, it's been so long Beautiful since patrons. I've recorded an episode. I forgot that we have to shout <laughs> like, out the patrons. It's like, what was the thing we have to say after this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, but hey, if you want to support the show, then go over to our Patreon, patreoncom slash taste. Also, follow us on Twitter. Send us memes on the subreddit, and if you hate our face, <laughs> listen to us on Spotify. And uh, yeah. See you at AX, I guess. Now that we've finally said that in the episode, yeah. hopefully. See you then. See you yeah. then. So if All you're right. in the LA area, see you then. All right. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.